Hello and welcome to HBFT Gaming, I'm HBFT and we are back again with King Arthur A Knight's Tale. I gotta say that I am really excited because I didn't realize that there was such a large patch in the making uh, and apparently it dropped just recently. So, uh, as you can see behind me right now, if I go ahead and shrink my face a little bit, there's a brand new class. So if we take a look at this right here, you can see that they just as soon as you get into the game, even with your older save, that they just kind of smack dab, just throw in a brand new character for you called Sir Tegir. Uh, it seems like he can lay traps, up to five traps at the same time. And on top of that, if you look at the type of damage that he does, it seems that he can actually strike multiple times. So you'll see strike damage two to four deals 50% of damage to an adjacent enemy two times. So. Do you remember some of the melee characters that we ran into previously? They kind of just tore through our armor very, very quickly. And I got to say that this is maybe our equivalent of a rogue. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Gray hair makes you old. Uh, been old a long time then. <laughs> yes, that's right, bunnies. Uh, the bunny man has discovered that he has now joined the old club. Because as you can see right here, take a look at this. Uh, oh, 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 there it is. There it is. Look at that. There's a, there is a gray hair right there. That's right. The bunny man is now joining the old man club because I am well on my way to being very distinguished. Heck yes. All right. So now that we've got all of the formalities out of the way. <laughs> all, all, all we got to do, let's go ahead and stop by Camelot. So as you can see, we actually have some new things available to us. We've got a training ground, which I'm assuming has to do with dealing, uh, gaining experience for perhaps any of the characters. Excuse me. A silver fox. Heck yes. Gosh, that reminds me of Gray Fox from Metal Gear Solid. He was so badass. Uh, we've got the training ground, which as soon as we unlock it, my assumption is this allows us to level up our abilities without actually endangering ourselves. You'll also notice that we've got an enchanted tower, which I think does something similar to the cathedral and the hospice, where this will remove curses. So the cathedral removes injuries, the enchanted tower removes curses, the hospice heals our vitality, the training ground, I believe, addresses the ability to actually push our uh, our skills forward without actually endangering our people. You'll also notice that there's something a little bit new here. Down below, you'll see that there's something called injury tokens and curse tokens. Yes. Hey, Mac. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're joining us right now, we are checking out the brand new patch for King Arthur Knight's Tale. Uh, we got a brand new class, which kind of seems like a sort of like a hunter rogue sort of thing. They can set a lot of traps and potentially strike twice, burning through armor very, very quickly. And then they've also got new buildings, new missions, and there are these tokens. So I was curious what the tokens mean. I really like the fact that you can hover, hover over and see kind of what they can do. You'll see this says every token saves the hero from one injury restore after missions. So obviously, if you take a look at our Sir Mordred, if you take a look at Sir Peleus, they've got a lot more armor. They've got a lot more durability. 57 hit points is insane on top of the base 25 vitality. He has two injury tokens, two curse tokens. That would have been really, really nice for Lady Dendron, who you can see has suffered a ton of injuries and is going to be in the cathedral for like six missions in a row. We probably won't be able to get her out of there for the foreseeable future in the demo. So, I mean, this is really, really cool. It's kind of like a shield. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we haven't really suffered from any curses yet, but when we went back over to Camelot, you can see that there was the enchanted tower back there, which would remove curses as well. Hey, Superior. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Does anyone else find it odd that the rightful Christian Knight is a ro <laughs> Well, you know, we're going to have to test out this rightful Christian Knight before things get a little raw, because uh, after all, if you take a look at the morality chart, we are going away towards the old faith. <laughs> so if you push too far away from a certain morality or in this case a certain religion then eventually the from what i understand those heroes will not be loyal to you so they might not want to play along with you so we better test them out while we've got the opportunity if we go over to the map you'll also see that things are looking a little bit different you'll notice that there's a giant four there's a giant five there's a giant three a six. I'm assuming these are average levels of the enemies that you're going to fight in that area. So 
Obviously, it seems like we want to deal with the lower ones first, just because it's going to be easier, a little safer. If we stop by the Bridge of Sorrow, though, this mission's still not available in this version. So the next one up from that is the Burial Mounds at level four. You'll notice here that there are two icons. I don't remember these being here before, but they might have been and I might have just glossed over them. But you can actually see what kind of enemies you're going to face off against and then what kind of reward you're going to get afterwards. So you'll see gold reward if you finish this one and you're going to be fighting against Picts. I'm not too sure what Picts are, but here it talks about Pict Savages. I think that might be a certain region or maybe like a tribe or something. If you look over here by comparison, if you go to Kingstone, it's going to show you that there's a high amount of experience as a reward. So this will be really, really, really good. If you want to take a brand new class out and just dump them so they can get all of the skills. Yeah. That having been said, let's go ahead and toss ourselves into the very first one. We've got Burial Mounds as the lowest one that we can do for Savage Magic. We've got to find and defeat three Moon Women, the leaders of the Picked Incursion. Seems a little backwards, like you'd be fighting against the regular Moon Women and then defeat the actual leaders themselves later, but apparently we're not. We're going the other way around. The once wealthy province around Camelot is riddled by abandoned settlements like corpses litter the battlefield. Not that these places are entirely dead, no. The ruins give momentary shelter to the picked savages and their terrifying matriarchs. These lost tribes seem to have wandered beyond the veil of the world and ended up here. I must send them packing again. So we're going to go ahead and take two really, really beefy tanks. This one having auras, this one being ourselves. Uh, we've got Sir Evane for that long range firepower, and we're going to test out the brand new Sir Tegir at level one before he, the levels start to run away from him. So we'll go in mission start. And here we go. Hold on, I need my bifocals. <laughs> if I turn into the light just right, you squint, and then right in here, you may just see. <laughs> uh, that's right. Uh, that's the thing about gray hairs is that gray hairs are very similar. They're a different shade of black, so I'm sure they're it's very difficult to see at times. All right, so where are we at? Here we go. We're headed on down south. This, Mordred. Were you envious of my confidential relationship to the king? Dude, they have banter now? I don't remember them having banter. Oh my god, he dual wields. This guy looks badass. Look at Sir Tegir. Holy crap, he looks so freaking cool. I got to say, I as much as we're we're doing the evil path I really, really dig the look of not evil with all the spikes and everything, yeah? Let's cross on over to the left first before we head on towards the main area. Treasure. Oh, wait, what? Why does our archer talk like that? <laughs> all right, free treasure. Nice. Oh, holy crap. All right, destroy the three moon women. We've got our three. All right, what are we dealing with here? We've got all the walking dead. Oh boy, all right, that's not free treasure. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. All right, let's start with. Let's see, this costs us AP cost four plus or AP cost four. You fell for the oldest trick. In <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, let's see, we'll ping. Nice hit. We'll ping another before we get the heck out of here. And let's tuck it on back. We get one free movement point. We got to get our tanks to the front here. The free treasure is for them. The timing on the free treasure. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, it's it's a, such a sham. I finally got to use my hot stone massage I got for my birthday weeks ago. Back is so good now. Heck yes. When you say hot stone massage, as in like you got someone to apply a hot stone massage to you or or it's like um someone gave you a bunch of hot stones. You got... <laughs> Someone's all like, hey, the beer, I've got something for you. Here's a bag of hot stones. <laughs> You're like, oh, it's everything that I ever wanted. Uh, what a lovely, lovely world. Actually, that would be pretty cool. We actually have a lot of stones out back. They're just not hot. That's a big problem, yeah? Blessings. All right, tag here. Well, look at this. So we've got a bear trap. I got a gift card. Oh, for the pros. Even better, even better. I'm really happy for you, man. All right, so let's take a look at Sir Tegir. Our he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight action points. The bear trap will cost two action points. So let's go ahead and set that range of three. Place a hidden trap on an empty tile. Trap deals 150% damage and causes slow for one turn. All right, we can have five active at the same time. We'll go ahead and lay this here. Lay it adjacent. 
Let's back it on up. We'll lay this adjacent. We'll just make a wall. We'll make a wall right here. And then we've got the one out hold. Now we'll just back up a little bit and hold. I'm curious if they're going to come through the trap line. Here it is. Here it is. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like I say, I am a little disappointed. I would have expected to, to have at least have a sound effect that goes or something like that. But that's really freaking cool. OK, so let's see. So I don't think we're going to take any damage out of this one. I think we're going to be super, super clean. Take a look at that. That's impressive. All right, now let's start with Sir Tegir. This guy is slowed and strike. Heck yes. I will just sidestep with a vein. Maybe that's what I need, a spa day. Dude, you know what? Spa days are for anyone that can... I mean, they're, they're for everyone. They're not just for, you know, like, ladies or anything like that, yeah? Wish it was not so expensive, it would be a normal thing. Gosh, you know what? They should include that in insurance, quite frankly. I feel like spa day should be part of insurance. That'd be amazing. Hey, served. Welcome. If you're joining us right now, we're testing out the brand new class and we're talking about spa days in hot stones. Heck yes. Hopefully you're having a wonderful Tuesday. I don't know if it's been noticed before, but the diamonds under the ability show the available points and hovering over highlights in red the number for each. Oh, really? Oh, OK. Well, thank you so much. We got to pay attention next time. I really appreciate it, man. All right, let's see what we got. We got ourselves all that free loot. Let's just go ahead and search the dead end. Uh, actually, this doesn't look like a dead end. Hmm. No little... rest for the wicked, eh? I have a new realm to build. I'm a little sus of this one. This one seems suspect. Look, there's loot over there, and everybody knows that loot is not free. We just figured that out horribly. One yearly Take spa day course. along with your next with your yearly physical. Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? I have bruises on my back. She was trying so hard to get the knots out. It was amazing. <laughs> You know, I'm sure that they were bruises of love, light bruises only. Nothing wrong with that. Pain can sometimes be a good thing. Oh, oh, oh. Is this the picked? Is this the moon women? Destroy the three. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. Those are potential allies. Or are they? Oh, they look like enemies. Oh, hold. Oh, hold up. Hey, Agonarch, welcome. If you're joining us right now, we're doing our very best to test out our brand new class in this brand new side mission with a brand new patch. How are you doing? Oh, these guys are doing well. Are these part of the picks? Ari Devane. Step it up. And shot out. Good kill. Good kill. All right, we'll stack up for two. Let's lay down a trap. I will lay down another trap right here. Oh, we can throw them. Oh, my God. Oh, I see what you're saying. So if I mouse over, so Mame off my reply gets some. She said, you're in bad shape. Like I have a doctor referred patients that are better. This is going to hurt. <laughs> I don't think their allies feels like zombies are a neutral party that will attack everyone. OK, so if I mouse over. So let's take Sir Peleus. If we mouse over, you can see how many it uses. So, OK, I see what you're talking about. So down here, we see our action points. If we hover over, you can see this will consume all of them. If we hover over this, it consumes three. Oh, that is that's so much easier. It also highlights in red for moving. Oh, seriously. One, two, three. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mamoff is an observant bunny. What can I say? Thank you so much. That makes it so much easier. Yeah. Anything in red is an enemy. Oh, OK. Well, let's go ahead and stack up. We're going to stay in the middle here. We've got traps on both sides. And then we'll hold in reserve. We'll get Mordred to cover the left. And we'll hold in reserve. We got Tegir. Tegir is going to actually break over to the right because hopefully we'll have a line of sight break with all these archers around. Yeah. And let's hold. Meme off with a big brain darn straight. Yes. Destroy the picks. Destroy the picks. Distraction. I don't know if it's new or not. I just noticed it. There are. It's new to me. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I don't notice. So there are a lot of things that are new. I call it a goldfish syndrome. All right, we got Mordred. I almost feel like we should be dealing with the picked warriors instead, because after all, they do have. 
because the pick warriors do have ranged weapons. So let's go in and help them out. This kind of reminds me of playing uh, Clash of Titans. So we'll just send another one. There we go. For Camelot indeed. All right, Peleus, tuck up, tuck up, get behind cover. And we'll go in Overwatch. Oh, are we stealth? Look at this. Bunnies. I think we're stealthy, stealthy bunnies in armor. Heck yes. I don't think they actually notice us yet. This is actually really good. All right. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and just tuck over to the side. Oh, we can go through our own traps. That's fantastic. I will just lay traps. Oh, we're revealed now. Never mind. <laughs> Damn it. And uh, we'll toss out another. How do you be stealthy in plate mail? Uh, with with great skill and fortitude. What can I say? All right, let's tuck over. Did you say pick seven species of small furry animals gathered together in a cave and grooving with a picked? Wait, are they? Are picked groovy animals? Uh, wait, I, or is it a tribe? Sir Tegir is just that good. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Pull a sneaky. Oh, we are. We are sneaky beyond belief. And hold. I'm curious, though, if... So, obviously, Sir Tegger has been revealed when he tossed out that trap. He's a little too close to the picks. My big question, though, is just... I mean, like, is there... What the hell was that? Bunnies, did anyone see that giant foot on the screen? <laughs> Wait, was there seriously... Was it just me? Wasn't there, like, a big, giant, like... Like we we're fighting and get like fee fi fo fum size giant. That wasn't just me, was it? Oh, that there isn't a hidden enemy. Is there? <laughs> Holy crap! Epic Pink Floyd song. Oh, what's this? Several species of small furry animals gathered together in a cave and grooving with a pig. Oh, that's the name of the song. <laughs> Holy crap, that's amazing. No worries, the bunnies are just hungry. I was looking at chat. I don't know. I swear, if I could rewind. I, if I could rewind, it's it's freaking me out. It's freaking me out, man. Unforgettable. Dude, no kidding. Who could forget such a thing? Well, tell you what. Do we got a shot? We don't have a shot yet. No shots here. We'll just go into Overwatch. Oh, we're stealthy. We're still stealthy. You know what? I'm just going to hold. There's no point in revealing our presence because, after all, we are just that stealthy. Overwatch and overwatch hold oh i didn't want to take unnecessary damage oh that's wild all right that's fine that's fine that's fine in that case come on Evain. aim shot there we go cleans only one viable option charge or shoot him so that we don't have to oh what is this Look at that. We've got a little skull and crossbones over Tegir. Did something go wrong? Does that mean that he's filled with remorse? That he's a reaper? Or No clue. Well, apparently we can heal ourselves, get our armor back. It's probably the most efficient thing. But let's go ahead and hold on using that fire before we do anything. And before we get too far over to the west, I'm almost feeling like the south right now is looking like a, a good thing. Because you kind of want to explore everything before... You get into like the main fights, but we've got to fight three picked leaders, yeah? I oh boy. Just... There we go. There we go. That's got to be her. That's one of the three. Are right, they got warriors? Do we have multiple deployment? Oh my god, there's so many. Archers everywhere. Hmm. That's a lot of archers. That is a lot of archers. This is not good. Okay, well what we oh so right now our archer is really really good from cover um we're just gonna get annihilated if we're not careful so i feel like we've got to be as close as possible we've got two melee guys so let's stack it over this seems actually very difficult position wise right let's get a vein behind cover here there we go and we'll get tegir behind cover as well he's hiding need a shield wall dude that'd be amazing and we got to stick together. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, how? If we do get close, then we will be able to... Can we cross that? Pop that? If we do get close to our enemies, then they we do get opportunity attacks, yeah? So that is available. All right, Evane's going to hold. Tegir, Tegir, Tegir. 
We have to be aggressive. All right, get in. Ping at range. He's stunned for a moment. All right, tuck it over. Full sprint in. All right, tag here. Some cover. And so they can't get around us. We'll toss out that trap. And tuck into the edge. And hold. All right, here we go. I was thinking more like Thrones of Britannia. That I'm not too familiar with. I've heard of Pathfinder. Is, isn't Pathfinder... I think the bunnies were saying that Pathfinder is kind of similar to D&D, &D, yeah? Just a different system. I know they've got their own video game as well. Ooh, we are suffering a lot of losses here. Total War. Oh, Thrones of Britannia? Heck yes. Total War is so badass. God, we're losing, like, all our armor. Oh, there it goes. And then... Oh my god, we are completely outnumbered. This is really bad. Pathfinder Kingmaker. Oh, I think uh, Bloody Doves was playing that one, yeah? That looks really badass. Are we... We really need to... Does he have any armor? It doesn't look like it. We'll send a first. We'll send one. We'll have Mordred swing for one. We'll have Peleus swing for two. There's a kill. Allow us to push in. God, this this flank is horrible. Ari Tegir. Let's... How far can we throw these out? Oh, that's not really too helpful. God, I, I wish we had double range on this. Well, let's let's get in there. We're going full bore, full bore, full sprint. Love the shield walls in Total War. So, how does that work with in Total War? Is that kind of like um, if you've got shield wall, then it gives you like extra protection or something? All right, stack up, stack up, full sprint. And Peleus, hold. Here it comes. All right, we're going to start taking some serious, serious health damage. Nothing serious. Yeah, nothing serious, my butt. You're unarmored right now. You coward. She's, she's, she's set the formation almost invulnerable to arrows, but you cannot move. Ah, okay, it's kind of like a phalanx or something. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. This is raw. All right. Can we stun the boss? All right, boss is stunned. I'm imagining we are Sparta with the shields and spears. Heck yes. All right, there's the one. Peleus. All right, let's go guard. All right, tag here. Oh, I think these guys are in Overwatch. Look at that. Well, a vein. No shots, no shots. Great sanity or formations just to keep things locked down. Can we finish this? Nope. But we can hit this. It's going to cost us four, and then we've only got three after this. We can really only take one shot, unfortunately. So let's... I guess just drill. Go. Oh, we moved too far. We moved too far. All right, reserve... All right, Tegger. Tegger's got to move. It's a big issue. I mean, we could we could toss this out. Lord Christ. Triggered Overwatch. Hold. How far can we move? Three, four. It's going to cost three, and then we strike. This costs three, so we can't strike yet. So I almost feel like we just stay behind. All right, reserve. And reserve. Oh, there's going to be a bloodbath. Come on, Peleus. Wow, we haven't even fought the first boss yet. <laughs> I almost feel like maybe we should have had Tegir on the opposite deployment zone so that he can come from the opposite side, yeah? Oh, that guy tried to get away and got wrecked. That's beautiful. Oh, Tegir. Tegir's lost cover. Oh my god. Oh, I thought she was stunned. Oh my god. All right, all right, all right. I am ready. Evane. Ping one. Let's start clearing out this left side here. Does he have a name shot? Can we clear? Send. Good kill. 
All right, Tagger. Cost three. And two. Not enough, but oof. We're getting, getting, getting. Swing. Mordred. Swing. And let's close the gap. Close the gap. Hold. Face our opponents. And hold. Oh boy. I think Tegir needs backstab to be any good at dealing damage. That's what it seems like. Which maybe he's kind of the guy. Maybe this is how you play him. Like, oh boy. Ooh. So I'm feeling like Tegir, the way we should have played this, is we deploy all of our revealed units here. And then Tegir was on this side all by himself. He can then lay some traps while he's stealth. I'm assuming that he's stealth early on. And then at that point, he can come in and just surprise them. Yeah, I hope you are a hoping knight. Hey, hey, pirate knight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, we are. We are hoping that we will not die <laughs> on the very first encounter. It is it's pretty raw. Yeah, hopefully you're doing well. All right, tag here. Finish. Good. Uh, Evane. Shot one. Nice! Holy crap, that's amazing. All right, stack up. Dude, no shot. All right, Overwatch. Taker's gonna drop a trap. Let's get behind cover. All right, Mordred. Stun off. So that's going to allow us to split her. So we're gonna go to the back and face her. Peleus is coming in, so we're going to be hitting from both sides, yeah? Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> See, it's not just me. There's some kind of bug going on where it makes her turn giant. Holy crap, what was that? Tag your news jump. Oh, my God, that would be amazing. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hold. Get that armor back. And reserve and hold. Maybe some traps in front of the archers and then backstab them. They run away and into the traps getting slowed and preventing them from escaping. That's a great idea, especially because he can throw the traps. He can throw the traps behind them and then attack them, yeah? What happens if a character dies in the game? Uh, they're dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're completely dead. Weird camera movement. Okay. Well, we're about to give her a little bit of a shot from the butt. Good hit. And two. All right, boss is down. Wait, does that end the encounter? Wait, that ended the encounter? <laughs> should I have should I have just gone straight for the assassination kill? Holy crap, I think that Wow. Alright, good to know. Apparently we didn't have to kill all of them, but I don't know if that matters yet. Now get to the campfire. No kidding. Sounds like it. Well, let's just check the area, see if there is any. I don't know, leftover loot or treasure or anything like that, yeah? It ganked the boss. That's what it seems like, yeah? That'll be really freaking great. I mean, who would who would be the best at that? I guess it would just run all the way in and, and uh, YOLO. YOLO swag in. Give him a little Data King one to the face. All right, we'll definitely need our health. Oof. Because the boss creates... Oh! Well Good to know. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, you know what? I forgot that we've got potions as well. Can I use the potions now? Is that something that we can do? Left click to use. Oh, heck yes. Go Peleus. And you know what? We might as well get our armor back. Look at these potions. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I totally forgot that we've got potions. These are amazing. <laughs> all right, man. We're just swimming in the swimming in all of the all the health and loot. Oh, hello. It seems that I missed one point down there. So let's go ahead and head on down south. We'll loop around again. Story time. See you bunnies later. Debir, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a really good one. We'll catch you later, man. What a knight should do when he finds his lady in bed with a friend. I left my sword lying with them. Oh, jeez. Someone. 
morose and dark. I do like the banter that they have now. I don't remember that being the case. All right, so we found one deployment zone. That might pay off, especially if we decide to have Sir Tegir by his own, own lonesome. So now we'll just cross on down from this side. And we might get to the opposite side of that main battle, yeah? Now we've got two more picked leaders to destroy and to assassinate. Now we know we can just run right in and smack the pick leader and be done with it. I don't know if it actually affects our experience, though. Because if it doesn't, then there's no real reason to draw out the fight. Oh, hello. Uh, this looks suspicious. We've got... Wow, this is a really big area. All right, I don't see any other way in. Let's go. Oh! Fire's not good. Deploy your heroes. Okay, do we have one from the opposite side? Do we? Can Tegir go here? So we've got green here. I don't see a deployment there. And I don't think... Doesn't seem like he can deploy here, so... I think we may all have to stack up from here. So what are we dealing with here? We've got melee, 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 melee. We've got all melee. This is actually perfect for us. But we can set some traps and then hopefully just hug to the right and then come around the side and smack the smack the lady there, okay? So let's go ahead and get Mordred over to the edge. We'll get Peleus over to the edge like this. Yvain in the middle to strike and Tegir. Tegir on hold. All right, here we go. So Tegir's actually going to set. Let's get Mordred to suck up straight over to the edge. He's going to clog this hole so that they can't get through. And we'll go ahead and get a lock off on this picked warrior, allowing us to stop any attacks of opportunity. Sir Peleus is going to prevent any shots to the back. And I'll aim this way. Actually, let's go ahead and get behind cover. And we'll aim that way. There we go. And hold. We will get Tegir. Apparently, he's stealth. So, I think if we stay in the purple, then we're still stealth. I'm not too sure how that works. Hey, Cyber. Welcome. We're testing out a brand new class right now with a new patch. All right, let's stack this here. And we're just going to lay out all of the traps. So that if they want to get to our backside, that they cannot. There we go. And we'll just stay completely hidden. And Evane. Ping at range one. He's unarmored and backstabs. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And tuck over, tuck over. Change facing. And hold. It gets harder later when the boss is supported by other sub-bosses, then making a beeline for the boss gets more difficult. Oh my goodness! Oh, that sounds horrible. Thank you so much, sir. New class, Karabinog Berserker. It's actually a very, very stealthy, uh, armored, armored, uh, I don't know, what would you call him? A rogue? He's not really a rogue, he kind of, he sets traps too, so maybe like a stereotypical hunter. Your orders? I love this. How's Raven and Bella doing? Bella's doing just fine. Raven's doing fine as well. Although she's been a bit, she's been a bit, um, a bit sick. So we've been trying to, she's gone to the doctor and everything. So she, she could be better, but things could be worse. Things could be worse. All right, let's go ahead and finish these guys. Send it. Uh, we'll ping aimed shot over. Well, I guess, hmm. hold there, hold there. Let's get Peleus. Can we ping this one here? Beautiful. And that'll allow Yvain to drive a full shot in. Aim. Oh, no worries. I'm sure she'll be fine. But thank you so much. I'll pass that on. Thank you, bunnies. And we got Peleus. Strike again. Beautiful. And we're actually going to face this way so that we're not getting any backstabs. Yeah. And we'll go guard. Guard up. There we go. Uh, let's see, Sir Tegir. We have one, two, three, four, four traps. Oh, we got another guy here. Holy crap. All right. Fair enough. In that case, let's go ahead and get another trap through there. Healing word. <laughs> How about extended range healing word? Heck yes. Peleus is left handed. I thought that was a. <laughs> you know, uh, you want to be wrong. You really want to be wrong. 
One, two, three, four, and five. All right, Mordred, do the deed. I really want to clear this guy off so we can keep them to the front. I don't like the fact that that boss is just sitting free. One, two, and change facing. Stack forward and hold. Is he also redheaded? Nobody would know. <laughs> That's why he's got that helmet to hide his hide his misdeeds. Oh, God, I'm so glad we're getting armor back with guard. You got to remember that Peleus has guard. He can give adjacent allies plus two armor. Gosh, he's just sitting pretty back there. All right, let's go ahead and we got to clear the way. So Mordred is going to strike one. Oh, that didn't help. And then we're going to stun. And we'll give strike two and clear this. So what that's going to do for us is going to allow us to move through without attacks of opportunity. So let's go in and reposition. There we go. We're set. Not having to worry about attack of opportunity. Sir Vane's going to start driving into the unarmored guy. There we go. Send one. Send two. And then before we move right over to the edge, let's go ahead and get Tegir. Tegir's coming on. He's now revealed and strike. There it is. And hold. Peleus. Good hit. Left handed. <laughs> nice shot a little bit of an awkward swing all right get over the edge there we go just get ready for the next turn and hold there goes the boss oh, i guess that's a lot of vitality damage just get straight through the armor yeah i suppose it's because it's magic i wonder if we get backstab damage oh no not quite all right hold all right Evane. clear one clear two Let's see. Mordred. Swing. And let's push. Push, push, push. Peleus. Strike one. Strike two. All right, Tegir. And send. And move to push. And cross out. There we go. Just the boss left. Just the boss left. Cause nine. So the thing that sucks is that we're probably going to go through the fire and we're going to burn, right? Would be my guess. So she would probably kind of encourage the use of... Let's toss traps around her. Probably encourage the use of ranged weapons, yeah? Yeah. And send. And pull back. All right, Peleus. And guard. We'll get a vein to step out. There we go. Aim shot. Huge hit. Heck yes. Stay away from the burning. And we'll get a stun off. And hold. Let's see if she moves. Come on, move. You know you want to. Oh, <laughs> she knows. She knows. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, let's just get a vein to finish this. Attack. And two. Beautiful. Definitely going to need some more fire. That's for sure. I guess. Well, let's use this. We got to get our healing on. So we're back to 49. Not too bad. And Tigger's okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't too horrible. Could have been worse. Definitely worse. Let's go ahead and take a look. Take a gander for any uh, sort of loot or anything, yeah? Uh, to the edge. Hey, Tsarvak. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're joining us right now, we're currently testing out a brand new patch and a brand new class. Oh, hello. All right, there's a fire. We need that fire. Uh... All right, let's go. We're going. Here she is. And of course, she's got allies. Yes, this is a brand new patch for King Arthur Knight's Tale. All right, Mordred, get in. We'll go in and get a stun off. We'll buy us a little time for the Banshee so that she doesn't stun. 50% resisted. Oh, that's new. 
All right, well, let's go ahead and send a nice solid shot. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's what we're talking about. Uh, no worries there. Uh, enemy down. Evening HB. How goes the battle so far? Dented very, very well. Uh, as you can see, we one-shotted that poor, poor Banshee who thought that she was being so cute. Uh, but that wasn't to be, I gotta say. Let's just go ahead and pretend and protect the back of Yvain. He'll just toss up here. Uh, that was a shot. Well, you gotta think, too, we did put the Curse of Vulnerability on her, so it's it's not all incredible power, And uh, but it was pretty amazing, I gotta say. It was awesome. Let's grab that, and we'll get a fourth. And then we'll have Peleus... He's just going to plug this hole and he'll go into overwatch here. And there we go. Let's go. Partially work obligations Whoa. working right now. Partially just need more recharge. I'm a natural introvert. So while streaming is fun, doesn't recharge Whoa. my batteries. That I can understand, Data King. That I can understand. Well, I'm glad that you're taking care of yourself, man. Oh, is there more? Oh, what? What? I thought the Banshee was the spawn. Oh, crap. They're burning our armor. Oh, geez. They're really burning our armor. Wow. Okay, that's not good. In that case, uh, swing to the left. We might need to regroup and just kind of use Evane to clean house, yeah? Ping that one. We got one there. We'll ping another. He's slowed and damaged. And then we'll just have to reserve and hold. All right, Tegir. Use him to slow everything down. We can have five traps out of time. All right, Peleus. Burn this guy. And then we'll start shifting our focus to the front, yeah? All right, clean. And let's go. Let's go. All right, Tegir, Tegir, Tegir. Let's go ahead and get next to the fire. We'll set one there just to avoid anyone getting the back of Mordred. Mordred will start striking for one and two. And let's go ahead and pull back. I want them to cross into this this area here, yeah? I will just hold. Here they come. They're all melee anyway. Heck yes? God, that's useful. There could be another Banshee. Oh, really? Uh, the minimap right now, I only see the three. So hopefully there isn't. But thank you so much for letting me know. Let's go ahead and Sigma. Evane for the strike. Increased damage I will have Tegir in and hopefully finish this guy and that'll be it it's heck so yeah <laughs> not too bad heck yes all right so it, there were just a lot of enemies there let's go ahead and get our we can get our armor back let's go ahead and use our potion here for Evane uh, we'll use a potion for uh, do we want the armor do we want the armor we do want the armor let's get the armor you got a surprise like that on a mission? Oh my. Armor smith it up. Here we go. We'll get 50% back. Beautiful. Obviously, it's a percentage, so it's it's more useful for our more heavily armored allies. Uh, as opposed to just getting someone who only has two armor and you only get one, right? So, uh, we only have one more after this. We've discovered this deployment zone here, so let's go ahead and hug over to the right. It looks like... There may be an extra fight here or extra loot or something like that, yeah? Fear me, hate me, despise me, revere me. I don't care. All that matters is that the realm survives. Ooh, free potion. Gotta love that. All right, beautiful. All right, so we've looted this whole area. Now for the very last fight. I kind of dig it. Bunnies, what do you think of this rogue character? I kind of like him. I mean, obviously, like, it's it's very different from anything that we played. Oh, we've got those horrible, horrible worms. The caterpillars. Ugh. All right, let's go. Here we are. The chest over there. At least I can get into Malay, right? We can get into Malay with the boss. We probably have this other deployment zone right here. Okay, so if we get Tegir over here, I don't know if it's necessarily going to be a good thing. We could probably utilize some cover, like, right here. So let's get Evane. Uh, actually, Evane... Do you have shots on? Doesn't take that that much to get over there. So we'll have Tegir in stealth on this side. Have they nerfed the archers? I don't know about nerfing the archers, but... 
I mean, they've definitely made the game more challenging. Listen, <laughs> the archer's still really, really strong, in my opinion. I really dig it. I, I love the archers. I think I love how strong they are. All right, and let's go. Let's go. All right, let's see. We've got a vein. Gonna get a shot on. Send. Good. Oh, yeah, that's that's not too bad. <laughs> Wait, can we just bum rush this guy? What if we just bum rush her? Just get in there and we'll just smack her up. I probably should have done this first. Make her vulnerable. And then we'll get we'll get Peleus in. And send more Tegir, Tegir, Tegir. Alright, step out. It's not revealed yet. Get them on both sides, get traps on both sides. And tuck up. A vein to hold. Your orders. Um, Peleus. Hold. All right, here we go. Come on. Oh, she is spawning. I have a feeling. So if, if we can seriously just enter immediately, then. Oh, that's not good. If we can seriously enter immediately, Evain may just be our savior. I'm so glad that we got armor. Oh, <laughs> He went around the traps. Oh, that's no good. No good. Oh, there we... Oh, what? They can just bypass traps, bunnies. Nerfed about the same time they nerf HB's headshot and loot luck. In that case, never. Heck yes. Glad to hear it, Cyber. Glad to hear it. Thank you so much for the confirmation. Well, let's step it to the side. One and two. Oh, it's not over yet. <laughs> it's not over yet. Oh, that's not good. Swing. Backstab. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, ping. Come on, Peleus. Swing out this way. We'll reorient ourselves and guard. All right, Mordred. Ping, ping, ping. And get in there, get in there. Stack this way. Uh, we got Tegir. Wait until you get the backstab spot. Oh, no. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, crap. He's all in his lonesome. All right, swing left. I've got to say I've jumped on the Valheim bandwagon, really enjoying it the little I've played. What do you like about it? So I've, I asked Garrison and and he just he really, really liked it as well. But I I got to say, I'm not I'm not too sure what's there. Yeah, like like what? What do you like about it? And hold. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. No oh boy. Backstabbing to Tegir. Not good. All right. Who? Oh, poison. Poison, poison. Let's see. Tegir. We'll go ahead and use a potion. Or actually, let's go ahead and finish this guy first. There we go. Then we'll use a potion. And we'll swing into the main. Val Valuheim. <laughs> the devs of this game may have watched a few Bunny Man streams. Wait, what are you talking about, Serve? About about us uh, having good headshots or what? Good ping. I'll swing over to the side here. I'm, this guy's gonna bleed out, so I don't think we have to worry too much. We'll just strike again. He's vulnerable. Uh, we got a vein. Ping one. Ping two. Beautiful. Uh, Peleus, strike one, strike two, and let's go in and go diagonally so we don't get hit in the side, and hold, shoot him in the butt, <laughs> damn it, that's our tactic, God, I love the fact that it's just, oh, 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 we misclicked, crap, always happens, all right, Peleus, there we go. All right, this is coming in our favor now. This is good. I am ready. Ping one. Enemy down. And come on, Tegir. You can take him from the front. I love his traps, though. Heck yeah. <laughs> all right, not too bad. Not bad at all. All right, we've got a chest. We'll grab that. Garbage or real treasure. Oh, epic heavy armor sigil. No way. All right, and then we've got one more place to take a look at before we head on out. And of course, at the end, 
They did say that we're going to get a gold reward, so hopefully we'll be able to actually upgrade our Camelot even further with that, yeah? I dig survival games, and this is really nicely done. Progression is softlock behind boss fights, which is a bit unusual for survival games, and it seems really deep, at least so far. Lots to do. Oh, what's this? Can I use it? Heal HP. Uh, sure. Peleus. Oh, well, that would have been nice. Crap. And the busy work resource gathering I am enjoying too. Is it kind of just one of those games that you can kind of zone out on? As in like, it's it's almost like meditative when you play it. Oh, heck yes. All right, we are finally in level five on average. Yes, got to be super helpful. All right, continue. Beautiful. So one thing I do want to point out, yeah. So can you redo areas you completed before and farm experience? I don't think so. I would have loved it if that were the case, but I don't think that you can do that. They kind of gray out afterwards, yeah. Sir K regained vitality, new side mission available. So take a look at this bunny. So previously, you remember that there were two different slots. You can actually equip these the same exact way. Oh, the potions are used up now. <laughs> not good crap the potions are actually used up now yes i am finding it relaxing dude well garrison was kind enough to gift it to me so i would love to try it i think it'll be really awesome so thank you so much for the glowing recommendation i'm glad you're enjoying yourself all right so it seems like a you can use up the potions now um they're gone and then b uh when it comes to these actual slots i've noticed with the new patch that you know, you've actually have somewhat like this book slot and you've got a trinket slot. So you actually can't equip two things at the same time. Uh, regain two armor and kill as an example. Like I can I can equip this. Oh, let's see, regain when drinking potion. So here we go. So if I equip this here, I actually can't. It only occupies this slot right here, whereas this accessory will allow you to equip it to this other slot. So it's very, very specific now. Yeah, so that's that's new. That's new. Movement AP, 20 gold found. I mean, might as well. We'll just replace that, yeah. Oof, this is wild. Gain 50% damage for one turn versus 40% armor. I feel like the armor is going to be really good for him. I feel like the extra damage is going to be really good for someone who strikes twice, like Sir Tegir, right? So getting that on there, that would be great. We'll get the healing potion. We'll toss that onto someone tanky, like that. Uh, gain AP. Really, really nice for our archer. You're on the Valheim train? Oh, heck yes. Gosh, we've got so many bunnies on the Valheim train. There might be uh, enough for a server there or something, yeah? All right, let's see. We got bear trap. Bear traps cause bleeding. Bear trap reduce victim AP by two. That's insane. Bear trap deals 15% more damage, but these are locked. That's new too. Take a look at that. So some of the actual like uh, sub abilities on your skills are now level locked as well. Okay, so that's new. Strike deals more damage. Strike cause poison for two turns, plus one range to trap skills. That seems really powerful, especially because traps are so important to what he can accomplish. Yep. Bear trap causes bleeding for three turns. Hero responds to every single frontal attack received. Oh! Wow. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, because obviously if he's in melee range, that's not necessarily a great thing. But that's really powerful. Enemies prioritize any other target in their range over the vanguard and completely ignore the hero farther than six tiles away. Wow. All right, I'm going to get <laughs> Tegir is a squishy bunny. He's a squishy bunny. Dude, this is amazing. I love what they do with this, and I can't wait until they unlock the next ones, too. It's incredible. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we've been able to get any Vanguard specific armor, so we really can't get that on there. Uh, as far as these rings, plus one armor when the zero when the hero has zero HP. Vanguard only plus one damage for bear trap skill. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah, we definitely got to get that. Plus one movement AP when unharmed. Well, most of the time, hopefully he'll be unharmed. So that's great. Wow, that's a serious upgrade for him. We'll stop by the weapons. We've got a brand new plus five percent block. Four to eight, five to eight, but just as much armor breaking capabilities. Block's not that useful for him, so I almost feel like this is still better, but that's really freaking cool. Look at that. Look at how much extra damage you can do. Five to seven. Is there anything that's better than what we've got? Minus 15, but plus one bleeding damage. 
6 to 8 versus 5 to 8. So it guarantees that you're going to hit a little bit harder, but you're not going to break through as much armor. You know what? At this point, I feel like breaking through armor is not really what, this, what we're using this guy for. Um, especially if we're going to get around to the back, right? So let's go ahead and get this in there. We'll get that extra base damage. We'll stop by a vein. I cannot wait to see what else he's got. So we can't do this. Plus 20% damage to aim shot against unarmored targets. So let's see. Gain 1 AP when killing an enemy only works in your turn. Could be useful. Could be useful. Plus 1 AP is nice, but only 1 AP when it costs us 4 to shoot? I don't know. Plus 1 range. So we already got that under cover. Plus 10% damage from cover. When the hero is in cover, it will not lose armor? Well, we gotta do this. Holy crap. That's incredible. That is insane. Hey, CC Banshee. Welcome. If you're joining us right now, or we're doing just fine, we're checking out the new classes and the new patch. And I gotta say that I am really, really, really digging this game. I can definitely see this is as a, a solo game that you play, like you're snowed in and there's nothing to do. And like, this is this is the game that you play. There's so much complexity here. It's really, really pretty incredible. Yeah. How are you, man? Have you played the mage yet? The knockback skill is pretty good. I have not tried the mage other than when we got him in the first place. Yeah, we can definitely pull him out for sure. Damage increased by 20% against burning enemies. Gain two armor piercing we have. Damage plus 20% against poison enemies. That'll be really good here. As you can see with Sir Tegir, he can cause poison. And then with Evane, he could do 20% extra damage to that. That'll be insane. Uh, we've only got one more point to spend though. So since we're behind cover, Plus 10% damage dealt from cover seems amazing if we're going to be back there and not lose any armor. Minus 2 damage from range attacks. Gain plus 2 AP at the start of the turn if 5 AP or more was spent for movement in the previous... Oh, yeah, no, I don't think about that. Especially if we're going to be in cover. That doesn't synergize well with that. So, And we finally unlocked the second tier. I didn't actually think they had it there. That's incredible. Look at this. First shot plus 25% damage for the first attack every turn. When no AP was... Oh my god. Ah! This is so cool. This is incredible. Ah, uh, I love these trees. They're so... They're so flavorful. Alright, let's see. We've got... Uh, so Peleus, obviously, he's going to be in a situation where he's constantly getting smacked on. Armor increased by one. We can get two out of it. Uh, let's see. Mental resistance. Dot effects reduced. Vitality increased. Guard cooldown reduced. We already got that. I, I have a feeling we kind of cheated things because... Um, this would probably have been level 10 before we could get this, but we grabbed it. <laughs> we grabbed it in the, before the patch dropped. So, so that's awesome. And his strikes nice and all. We can get bleeding. That's great. But I feel like the armor is, is what he's going to need. Plus 10% HP from armor type items. I mean, heck. Let's get one armor. There we go. We've got nine now. And then this 10%. So this is an armor type item 42. Let's take a look at our hit points. It's 67. Yeah! <laughs> and 71. Heck yes. Beautiful. Doing well. I played a little with the new character. The bear trap is pretty cool. I'm enjoying the update. Dude, the bear trap is actually a lot better than I thought. And I love the fact that you can actually have access to a beautiful, wonderful set of uh, five at the same time. I think that's ridiculous. That's so freaking cool. Uh, plus one damage to enemy knocked down. Regain one armor when drinking potions. Regain one armor on a kill. Kind of nice. Gaining, gaining armor is going to be really important for him. Plus one armor when the hero has zero HP. Regain two armor on kill. Let's go ahead and grab that and we'll toss this in as well. Just because this is the guy who needs all the armor. All the armor. And we'll stop by Mordred. Look at that. We finally unlocked that second tier. This incredible... Plus 10 mental and physical resistance runs to an enemy and tackles them down, dealing 50% damage and causing... All right, we got to get this because I did see right here. There's something else here. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I saw it earlier. Was it on this one? Plus one range for shield charge skill. This is it right here. Okay, so we've got to put that onto our boy right here. Now he can dash out even farther. That is insane. That is really, really crazy. I uh, regain two armor when drinking potions. Adjacent allies gain one armor. Yeah, we want all the armor, all the armor. Okay, so that's really freaking cool. Uh, let's see what... I know we've got ourselves some epic armor. Relic sigil for heavy armor. Every time the hero is hit, gain plus 5% damage for one turn. Defender or champion, that's ridiculous. Obviously, that'll be great on Sir K if he's getting hit. But if anyone's going to be getting hit a lot, it's going to be this guy right here. So... 
Let's give it to him. There we go. So now we've got this crazy, crazy, crazy armor. Uh, rune, relic rune for staves. So obviously, Sir Cole was talking about Sir Rector. Let's get this on there. We've got a really, really nice staff for him. Plus two damage up to four tile range. If I remember correctly, his range damage was eight. And this gives him plus two. That's insane. Sigil of Rain. So we've got minus one turn duration to Burning Suffered. 14 and one. Just all the health in the world. And then one armor. I don't know if the armor is really going to help him too much. Plus two armor. I feel like just straight up health and vitality might be the way to go with him. Just completely unarmored. Uh, can he wear anything at all? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it at all. We do have all the HP potions. One. Maybe we should spread this out a little bit. Yeah, we'll pull that down. Give it to him. There we go. Uh, Sir Rector. Oh, man. Sir Rector doesn't have anything that he can wear, does he? Uh, let's hold out. We got Sir K back as well. Oh, I really want to use K. Well, tell you what. We've got to take Ector out. But we are going to be going into some tougher fights, yeah? Devs have done a good job making each knight feel different. They really did. They really, really did. They've done a bang-up job. Holy crap, we've got a lot of gold. Well, you know what? If we don't have the gear, we can just buy it. Holy crap. Armor. Look at this. We can get plus one AP cost for magic skills. Wait, so it costs extra, but it deals 20% extra damage. Oh my god. Wow. That's... Oh, hello, nurse. <laughs> How many heroes have perished by HB's command? Uh, None, but I'm not saying that it it will not happen because we are getting very close to it, unfortunately. I don't really see too many magic ones. This seems amazing. Plus one damage for fire blast skill, but let's, let's take a look here. Let's see. We've got two brand new ones. We've got training ground and enchanted tower. Enchanted Tower will remove curses. We don't really have any of those just yet. Let's go in and get the training ground. An old saying goes, rather a thousand troops of a thousand drops of sweat in training than one drop of blood in combat. On the training grounds, your knights can hone their martial skills and prepare for the next battle. That's beautiful. On the training grounds, your heroes can hone their skills and gain experience while other heroes are on missions. If you have some spare gold, you can pay for advanced training for your heroes to level them up within a single mission's time. Oh my god. At the moment, you only have one training slot available. While your heroes are training, they will be unavailable for missions. You can stop their training anytime without losing any experience that your heroes have already gained. That sounds amazing. Training methods. You can choose between two training methods. You will be able to see how many missions you'll have to miss with your selected hero during free training, or five missions in this case. Should you choose advanced training, your hero will level up within a single mission's time, but doing so will cost you gold. Oh, look, we've got elite gold. <laughs> How long until we place bets on night losses? Well, I mean, uh, we can place bet on night losses immediately. We can do it on the next mission, yeah? I named these knights honorary bunnies. Let the dying commence. <laughs> Are we including grievous bodily harm in the assessment? No, no, not at all. Uh, because grievous, <laughs> grievous, serious? Grievous bodily, oh my goodness. All right, that, this is fine, this is fine. Well, let's see, on the next mission, let's go in and bring Sir Mordred. Peleus is doing an incredible job. We just outfitted him with brand new epic armor. We've got Ector in play, so I do want to bring him. And Evain is just indispensable. So let's go ahead and get K. Uh, it's going to take two missions for him or advanced. Let's go advanced. I'm going to bring him up to five, like so. We'll pay for it. That's fine. And we'll let him roll. K is now training. He's going to be ready for the next battle. Uh, we've got 936. Oh, I feel like we're kind of missing some trinkets for... You know what? We're going plus AP. I don't care. We're, we're doing it. We're going over to the armor. We're, oh, it costs 1500 What about this? Last one armor cannot be broken. The last one armor cannot be... Oh, we're definitely buying this. Holy crap, the... What? It will never break? Wow. That is amazing. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Well, wait, what, what's on this right here? Marksman Arcanist, minus two damage. You know what? We're, we're putting this on him. We're, we're giving that to him, and then we're going to give this to Ector. There we go. Now he's he's epic and blinged out. I don't, I don't, that's totally fine. Minus two damage. That's that's great, yeah. Is it bad we seem to celebrate pilot and night? <laughs> no, it's called a celebration of life, because how can you not celebrate life if you do not celebrate death? Heck yes. 
All right, so I like this. I think we're going to go into battle like this. We've got 336. We'll hold. On a morality chart, we didn't have any decisions to make, so we're still in the same place. All we need is one more tyrant decision, and then we'll be able to actually unlock the Black Knight. So it said that we unlock one more side quest. I don't know if I see it. I really don't. There's Bridge of Sorrow here. Well, which one is it? Sir K regain vitality. That's good. There we go. Oh, oh, we have got two slots here. Oh, oh my bad. Let's get Balin. We'll get Balin in. Free healing for six missions. And then we've got um I think she's still she's still curing her injuries. Okay. That having been said, let's go in and we're going in for five. We're gonna be fighting against the Picts again, Kingstone. The Picts are a pest upon our lands. This time they invaded a sacred grove, blemished the ground with their foul stone sigils, and shed copious amounts of human blood to raise something evil from beneath. To make matters worse, those savages even dared to succeed. Slay all the moon women. Oh my. We're gonna get extra experience. Oh! Wait. I forgot to choose Ector. Oh crap. What have I done? Can we find a game for Bunny Man where there are no shops? Does such a game exist? Doubtful. <laughs> Of oh, can I can I exit this one and come back in? Is that possible? Can I load? Auto save last mission. I don't know if I can. Well, we're here now. All right, we're going in with the same group. That's not what I meant to do. My bad. Well, let's go in and get the polls going. Will the Bunny League win this battle without nightly losses? <laughs> we just got to adjust that a little bit. Five minutes on the clock. Now let's see what you got. Here we go. All right, so apparently I cannot exit. I'm sorry, I meant to bring in Sir Ector. I'm sure he likes monsters instead. So far, so good. All right, we see a deployment zone here. We need to find as many deployment zones as possible so that we have the maximum flexibility. Oh man, it's just like a big circle. What is this? Uh, this is a little suspect. A chest, brothers. Oh, a free chest! Heck yes, completely free. Beautiful. Oh, let's stop around. That one was totally free. The Bunny League is all about nightly losses, at least for... <laughs> I said... Wait, did I... No, I spelt it K-N-I-G-H-T-L-Y. I mean, I played R-D-O and have more cash and gold than I know what to do with. All right, well... So far, so good. It looks like we might be just one big battle, right? I'm so sad that chat sad that chess wasn't another ambush. No, that was perfect. It, it was exactly as it was meant to be. All right, I think we've we've gone as far around as possible. These are all the deployment zones right here. Let's do it. All right, there's a lady. We got to destroy the moon women. Any game with chess should include mimics. Change my mind. This does not look good. That's a lot of bones. Man, this lady is surrounded by bones. Uh, all right. Well, let's see. All of them are shielded. Let's go in and split it. We'll have Peleus here. Uh, we'll get Evane. He needs to be behind cover, after all. We'll get back here. Because he does extra damage. We buffed him so that he has extra damage behind cover. I guess we got Tegir. So we'll get Mordred. Yeah, Mordred will hang tight. Oh, Mordred's got shield charge. Heck yes. All right, here we go, bunnies. This is it right here. All right, Mordred runs to an enemy and tackles them down, dealing 50% damage and causing knockdown. It costs one AP? Holy crap. All right, let's All right, move it up. Can we shield charge? Not close, right? Shield charge. Shield charge. Heck yes, here we go. Like a hero in three, <laughs> two, and one. Oh, oh, heck yes. I'm curious, does every strike on her count as like a backstab? I have no idea. Probably not because her back's on the ground, yeah. All right, this is perfect, this is perfect. Well, it looks like she's not gonna have any, um, I'm not gonna have to worry about backstab. So let's move over here and then we'll face her this way. There's cover to our back, so. They won't be able to hit us from the back, yeah? It's gonna be great. All right, let's see, what can we do? What can we do? We can throw out our bear traps, aim for the center torso. <laughs> All 
All right, uh, let's see. This is gonna cost us four. We can set two traps. All right, let's tuck up for Teg here. We'll set one trap on this side. One trap on this side. We're gonna box him in as we hold Mordred, reserve. All right, Peleus, dig in. Swing, backstab, beautiful. And hold. All right, Evane. Send it. Grounded, extra damage, amazing. Oh, holy crap, Tank. Wait, has it only been nine months, Tank? That's crazy. So, what's the baby gonna be called? The, wait, the, wait, the baby? <laughs> Welcome, Tank, very good to see you. If you're joining us right now, we are trying to take down all the picked women. Um, and we picked them so well. I can't believe it's only been nine months. I, I swear I've known you all my life. That's crazy. Thank you so much. Haven't taken that anatomy course yet. Where's the bag? <laughs> well, thanks so much for hanging out. I I, I really, really appreciate it. Abby Bunny Tank Toes. Oh, Nelly. Oh, I forgot they can attack me diagonally. That's not good. All right, Mordred. Swing. Picked woman down. Cast. Sigma and a stun. And two. There we go. All right, nail him, nail him. One, two. And oof. Oh, he's bleeding for two. All right. Highness. Come on, Evane. We're gonna clear the backside. Beautiful. God, they're so strong. Ampelaeus. I was wondering why you put the traps there instead of one tile for it. <laughs> thanks for the 30 minute decompress. We'll check out the vid either later or on YouTube. Sarvak, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a really great night. We'll catch you later, man. Have a good one. Well, okay. Uh, let's see. So this is all clear. We're coming around the side. Evane's tossing up. Uh, they're going to have a free shot on us. But if we don't do this now. Oof. All right. Out, out, out. There we go. Flip it around and hold. Oh, this is easy then. Oh, I, I, I didn't have to take any damage. Crap. All right, tag here. Send. And two. Egg, yes. All right. So the great thing is only one of us took any damage at all. We didn't even have to use any of our potions. I think it's really interesting that you actually have to use your potions now. Like, they're they're out. I guess that makes more sense. Winning the heart of an untamed beast tests a night metal like nothing else. Oh, hello, nurse. I love these. You feel like it will unleash the following power regain armor. Oh, uh, let's leave it for now because we've lost barely any armor and I have a feeling it's going to be a full refill. Yeah. Oh, free chest. Heck yes. <laughs> Just like always free chests. Nothing bad will ever happen. All right. We got our deployment zone discovered deployment zone. All right. A bit of a dead end here and do the same thing. We want to get all the deployment zone options available. Yeah. Just look at that. Look at what? Wait, what am I looking at? A tree. There's something special going on over here. Map wise, I don't see any. Yeah. Uh, I got a bad feeling about this. Enchantress. You married revenge, Mordred. Oh. So no alternative deployment zones. Oh, we could have been on that side. All right, we've got painted bowman, warrior bowman. So two bowmen. Got to get rid of the bowmen and then we can heal ourselves. All right, this is fine. All right, let's tuck up. In. Nail him. Heck yeah. <laughs> so cool. All right. Lock the range. Oh, God, that is amazing. That's so good. All right, and hold, just hold there. All right, pew, perfect, perfect. All right, strike one. Is there any cover that we can get behind? There we go. And 
Nail him. Onwards. Heck yes. Enemy down. All right, tag gear. Let's trap it up. Oh, we got Peleus. Oh, trap. Oh, back here, you mean? For the Bowman? Oh, my bad. All right, hold. You mean so that if he tries to run away, then he's going to get hit and die? That would have made sense. That would have made a lot of sense. Oof. Heck yes. Funnel in, funnel in. This is fine. All right, perfect. Okay, so this is actually pretty good. Tegir is able to keep things at bay. I really, really like him. All right, a vein. Ping one. Don't know if we can strike out this far. Doesn't look like it. Can we get one? Step in and full. Oh, no shot yet. Shot. There it is. Oh, God. Oh, it's so powerful. All right, Mordred. We could clear this. We've got Peleus. We've got Tegir. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and I want to create a hole. If it's possible to create a hole, that's what I want to do. So we'll get Mordred. We'll strike. But Mordred's so close, I thought the Bowman would try to run. Well, uh, he tried to do some things, uh, but he was not successful. All right, Pelaze, we're trying to we're trying to make a hole here. Ping two and guard. Gear. We didn't succeed. These guys aren't going to move around. So let's get Mordred to just strike where he's at. I mean, we could pull away and get in there, but we would take unnecessary damage twice. Twice over, yeah? So let's cause the bleeding. Lock this guy up. Uh, we'll get Tegir to set a trap here so that they can't actually strike Mordred in the back. Mordred's actually going to face this way to prevent that. Uh, Tegir... Eh, he gets... Let's go diagonally. And we'll just strike from this location. And go. All right. Uh, oh. One. Oh. Okay, so he's going into vitality damage. It's not. Oh. Minus one. Oh, now he's got injuries. Oh. oh crap. Ah, oh, for shame. All right, clear that. Come on, Peleus. Command. You really have to be... He's really, really gentle. Or he... I mean, he's... You've got to be really gentle with him. My God, that was bad. I wonder how intelligent the AI is. If you deliver, he left an open back and then put a trap there with the AI charge in. That's a... That would be great to test. For sure. Absolutely great to test. Can I lock him? There we go. Locked him up. Awaiting your command. All right. Step to the side and... One... Two. Peleus. Lotus. And Mordred. Full king and country. I guess that's it. Nailed that guy. We got Tegir. Swing. And ping. Onwards. We are victorious. Oof, that was rough. The worst part of it is the fact that we used up our injury token and on top of that took an injury anyway. So probably not going to be able to take Tegir in. Um, armor, health. I mean, we really need health right now. Mostly for Tegir. Everyone else is full up. So... Hmm. I think we have to. It's unfortunate. It's a bad use of the fire, but what's the point of resting when I'm already dead? Oh, that's a great question. All right, we'll cross through. Just clear up the fog of war. And so far, so good. We might as well go to the shrine, and then we'll head into the middle. 
we'll get the oh uh, we still don't need the armor back yet though not for you know what you never know what you're gonna find all right let's do it he's a cheery fellow yes he is all right we're gonna use it on Peleus. it's got full armor In a way, I would have liked to have lost more, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, here we go. We got more picks. We're supposed to get a lot of experience out of this, yeah? The reward is supposed to be extra experience. A lot of archers. Gosh, archers are so strong. It really scares me. One, two, three, four. We could always charge the moon woman and then see if we can just eliminate her immediately. Let's go in and start with a charge. We'll get Mordred up close. Like so. We'll get, um, we gotta stay behind cover. So we'll have a vein. Uh, we'll have a vein back here. Yep. Get extra damage on cover. Now uh, we got Peleus. Stack up. And we got Tegger. Gosh, Tegger's gonna get torn apart. Let's just hold right here for now. Ooh, that's a nice spot, actually. I stand corrected. We're getting a vein right here. Heck yes. And Tegger behind cover here. I'll sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> All right, let's start it. Go. All for one. I can't believe that cost one. That's insane. That is so good. All right, let's start locking up some of these bowmen. And uh, let's stack in. I was holding in this direction. All righty, Vane. Strike to the back. Beautiful. Solid heavy shot to grounded. Enemy down. <laughs> uh, Evane, you are something else. You're amazing. Holy crap. Just one shot at the, the left. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my god. All right. Well, let's let's zoom in while we can. This this guy right here is uh, blocked up. We've got a ton of armor available to us. We'll skip behind cover here. All right, Evane's going to hold. Uh, Tegir, you know what? Tegir's going to hide for this fight. <laughs> He's just gonna hide. Just hide, Tegir. Hide. And uh hold. There we go. Oh, that's that counts as a backstab? Oof, that's rough. My bad. Alright, Mordred. Well, let's tell you what, we've got a vein. They'll take care of business. Can we get? Oh, there we go, there we go. Switch it. Nice! Dear God! Holy crap, archers are ridiculous! Alright, one... Two... He's gonna bleed, so he's dead. I believe it bleeds for at least two. So let's swing it. Beautiful. And, uh, hold. Oh, it only bled for one, my bad. I'm guessing the bleeding that Tegir does, because he strikes twice is actually worth the two. One for each weapon. I, fight for honor. I guess. No God, that wasn't too bad, especially when Tegir wasn't involved. God, I really want to try Sir Ector now, yeah? Especially that mage. So obviously we haven't finished the map yet, which means there's one more Moon Woman. It seems like the women are the leaders. I remember remarking earlier that it seemed kind of strange that in the previous fight which was like a, a lower level map whoa oh boy in the lower level map it seemed like you would have to fight the leaders of the the picts and in this case it seems like all those ladies every single woman is a leader we got one bowman two bowman three bowman three bowman four me melee i don't see any people who are gonna flank us this might be kind of rough. We do not have a lot of cover here. Actually, we don't really have cover here. I would have liked to have used it, but that's okay. All right, well, let's go in and start. We're going in for a shield charge. We'll nail that. We'll lock up this bowman right here. And we'll just tuck on in. And let's start forming a wall. So we'll have Peleus. Obviously, it kind of is going to suck because the bowmen are just going to tear our armor apart. Uh, we'll get Tegir. How far can we toss this out? There we go. We'll just fill in the middle, basically. You know what I mean? Just fill that in. There we go. And have him dash over to the side to hide. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. There we go. We got the line. We got the line. Aim shot. Nail him. 
Beautiful. Enemy down. Dear God, Evane's amazing. He is amazing. And hold. All right, the bowmen, here they come. There goes one armor. There goes two armor. Now he's completely open. I gotta remember that we do have potions, though, so we can get extra AP and stuff like that. All right, great. All right, Evane, you're up. Send it. Send one. Send two. And then let's back it. All right, let's see. We got Peleus. This guy seems to have some armor here. I'm assuming that's what this is about. This does 19 versus 19. Start drilling through. Calling in a night early. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Data King, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a really good night. We'll catch you on the next one, man. Have a good one. And I hope you enjoy Valheim when you get back to it. Our Mordred. One. Two. Getting that bleed. And three. Now right, we got Tegir. We're going to stick traps around them so if they want to move around they're not going to be able to yeah there's one and then we'll finally we'll we'll just toss out a full five right here and then police going in for a guard giving armor to tag here as well and uh let's hold the the gads you guys are focusing more Drew, now God, Peleus has so much armor now, it's ridiculous. All right, we know what we need to do. Get around to the edge. Stun. All right, Peleus. For Camelot. Two. We got a vein. Clear that, beautiful. Nice ping. Tegir can deal with two points of damage. There we go. <laughs> Let's pull away, pull away. All right, two archers. Come on, Mordred. Hang tight. Hang tight, buddy. It's going to be four shots to Mordred. He's able to block and reduce the damage, but he gets... All right, go. Nail this guy and strike him. Heck yes. Now we got Peleus. All right, we got this. We got this. Guard. And then we got Evane. Sidestep. Oh, oh, oh. Single shot. Swing. Heck yes. And we get a fire out of this. That's going to be super helpful. So we lost a lot of armor. We've lost a lot of health. I feel like the health is going to be more important because it's stopping us from getting injuries. Uh, but dear God. This, this will fill up our armor, fill up a lot of Peleus' armor, and give us a little more. Let's go... This gives us more armor here. Health. We need health right now. We really do, especially for Tegir. No more idling under my command. All right, what do we got? And then one more. I have a feeling that corner one's going to be the last fight on this one, yeah? Bunnies, what do you think? Do you have any ideas of how you'd like to see us play differently are there any strategies that we might be missing i mean obviously like we have a lot of characters that we can dive into and specialize them in different ways i feel like a vein is is such a such a linchpin to every single fight like locking people down and then making them vulnerable and then he just puts them away yeah tiger doesn't need to hide anymore yes <laughs> or so we would like to believe all right that's it let's go Chest. Or she's surrounded. Oh, two! I think this is what Serve Cold was talking about. He was saying that sometimes there are bosses that are next to bosses. Well, all right. Fair enough. Let's see. If we want to dash in, let's go in and grab Mordred. He'll be on this side so that he can get in on that dash and knock her down. And then we'll... Your we need eyes. cover, right? So let's get Evane. Evane's got cover. Beautiful. He'll be right here. Now we got Peleus. Should we spread this? We'll just start pushing our way through. Here's Peleus, and here is Tegir. All right, here we go. I'm here for the HB and bunny interaction. Crack on my guy. Crack, 
Wait, crack on your... <laughs> Zenith, love you, man. Thank you so much. All right, let's finish it up. Here we go. Yeah, this is looking kind of gnarly. I don't know about this one. We don't have a lot of armor either. All right, sidestep it. Shield charge, not quite there yet. Get in one at a time, one at a time. There we go. Knocker. Uh, we want to clear the way. So obviously, even though we have allies here, we want to clear the way. So I think Evane's going to be able... Let's start with Evane. Now that she's knocked down, we'll get an aim shot straight in. Oh, we don't have a shot from there. All right, fair enough. Clear the guys at the edge. Aim shot. Shot out, enemy down. Oh, let's see, we've got... Peleus. Get behind cover. Hold. Mordred. We could stun this one. I don't know if it'd be worth Country. it. We'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and shore up this hole right here. So we'll just toss out traps. We'll go up two. We'll get traps through. We go up one. Trap one. And trap two. This is new to me. What is it? XCOM and the Holy Grail? <laughs> It sure feels that way. We are playing as Sir Mordred, uh, and we are fighting against King Arthur at some point, but um, you're obviously trying to retake Camelot and the land, yeah? That would have been a great name. Yes, it would have. It would have been pretty incredible. All right, well, let's go and lock, lock down the Moon Woman. There we go. She's locked. 50% and hold. All right, cross your fingers. If they try to get to us, they're going to have to pass through those traps, right? Solid, solid hit. All the magic. Oh, God. Oh, geez. God, and I hate the fact... You know what I just realized? They're not stopped by traps. <laughs> Crap. I totally forgot that these guys are not affected by traps. That's horrible. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, That changes things just a little bit. Well, tell you what. I don't think we can get... Can we get back shots with Evane? Because that would just be game over. What we can do... Is do this we could start shooting her that'll be one solid and reserve all right mordred we, we oh this is rough okay hold up we got tegir tegir should be able to get to the back strike him backstab backstab heck yes beautiful time to feed the swing raven. good hit Let's cause bleed on the moon woman there we go we'll have Peleus cross in Send. And then we're going to apply guard. A guard is going to give armor back to all our adjacent allies. Like Mordred. Heck yes. Beautiful. All right, Mordred. Do your do your thing. Do your thing. Nail her. And hold. Yes! All right, we got one boss down. One boss down. Oh my god. Oh, heck yes! They landed on the trap. Oh boy. Holy Just crap. Heck. We are getting wrecked. All right, Evane should be able to finish this. Come on, Evane. Nailer, one. Beautiful, two. All right, she's down. Heck yes. For my All right, let's go in and lock the one behind Tegir. That frees him up to move. Now we'll go ahead and strike one. <laughs> we'll have Peleus strike as well. He's bleeding, so that's okay. Tegir is going to reposition. Strike from the rear. Heck yes. Uh, I guess we'll just toss out a... a why not? <laughs> uh, let's see. So we got three. Let's go in and strike. Finish this guy, even though he's going to bleed. And then we'll f pull in with Peleus. Evane doesn't have a shot, but we'll just move out as far as possible. All right, let's see what let's see what this guy does. He was stunned. Oh heck yes! And then we've got our beautiful Tegir for the win. Can you zoom in? Oh hey Basau, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, we can, we can zoom in. So obviously we just finished the last one, but you can go all the way in. It's really freaking cool. Look at these guys. The detail in this game is incredible, especially for early access. Kind of ridiculous, yeah. And welcome, Jason. Welcome. Just stopping in to see what the game was. Just added to my wish list. Time for bed for me. See you next round. 
Prospero, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a really, really great rest. We'll catch you on the next one, man. So obviously they've got the brand new class. We just got Tegir. Tegir is sort of like a hunter rogue sort of thing. Oh, hello, nurse. We just got a relic accessory. We've been really, really short on accessories, so that's going to be really, really helpful. Looks like we've explored for loot for the entire map. And let's get on out. You got to remember that at the beginning of this mission, they did point out that we have the opportunity to get extra massive experience out of this. No levels up, though. Look at this. Plus one range for jumping attack skill. Plus two damage for backstab attack to poison enemies. Well, I think we know what we got to do with Tegir. Holy crap, this is specifically made for Tegir. That's insane. Marksman and, and Arcanus. Minus two damage received from magic attacks. Regain four additional HP on rest using the HP recovery option. Kind of nice. I think I like it more for its base stats. Four armor on light armor is insane, yeah? Time for bed for me as well. Have a good night, served. Thanks so much for recommending this to me. Thanks so much for your help. I hope you have a great night. We'll catch you later, man. All right, so... We've got about an hour left. It looks like we've got a new side mission. There we go. Bleeding Cross Monastery. Rank 7. We've got 6 on Darkwood. It's just getting higher and higher and higher. Which is kind of nuts because unless you bring in the same team every time, you're not going to scale with it. So you're constantly, constantly going to be at a disadvantage, yeah? Well, here we go. Sir K was able to level up. We love that because we toss him into the brand new training ground. Let's see what he's got. Damage focus. We know he's got that big axe. Uh, strike, cleave, cleave deals plus 20% damage to the center, bleed, we already got strength, and I believe we got this as well, which is plus 5% damage for every unspent action point. We could always enhance that and make him just basically do a ton of burst damage, gain one temporary armor for every three unspent AP. Heck, if you're going to be just sitting there and not spending your AP and make yourself stronger and be awesome, plus 3% damage for each unspent AP. Oh, heck yes. Oh, we already got that. <laughs> I totally forgot. Plus 20% efficiency for stun and slow. Plus one turn duration for bleeding. Well, let's go in and get bleed on there. There we go. And then we'll get bleed on this as well. So we'll just start the bleed rolling. And oh my god, we've unlocked so many new things. This is incredible. I right, let's stop by the armor. Uh, I would like to get K into the fight. It's been a while since we've had him there. Plus, Tech here kind of needs a, a little bit of... um arrest so we've got those traps they're doing a great job let's go ahead and get poison you gotta remember that the new armor that we've got right here makes it so that we can deal extra damage i think it was was it this one here plus two damage for backstab attacks to poisoned enemies so we'll get that in there it's gonna be great so we got poison there uh, let's see strike deals 15 percent more damage or bear trap causes bleeding for three turns god that's crazy reduce victim ap is insane Retain surprise state up to four tiles when leaving a hidden position. Holy crap. So we can actually stay hidden for longer. That's crazy. Damage increased by 50% when hidden. Wow. Okay, so hold up. I never read this fully, yeah? Hey, Tantulus. Welcome. This is called King Arthur Knight's Tale. It's currently in early access. You can get it on Steam. Uh, they just came up with a brand new patch. They have a new class. You can play as an evil Sir Mordred after a sort of Lord of the Rings style fight against King Arthur and you're overtaking Camelot and uniting the land either under dastardly, dastardly tyrannical rule or you are the protector of the realm. And on top of that, they got a morality chart which unlocks new recruits and a whole bunch of extra bonuses. It seems really cool. I am digging what they're doing with the trees. All the knights feel completely different. It's really freaking awesome. I dig it. So let's see, when Sir Tegir, he was hidden, we never really paid attention to this. It says, when moving on certain parts of the map or getting behind full cover, the hero becomes hidden. Oh, he can become hidden. Hidden heroes gain 50% extra damage for their next skill. Wow, this would have made a huge difference if I had read this. <laughs> Enemies detect hidden heroes from a three tile distance. The hero retains hidden for two tiles after being detected. Well, it seems right here we can retain surprise up to four tiles away instead of two or damage increased by 50. That would be the next skill is going to be increased by 100 percent. That's ridiculous. And you got to remember that we just got this relic item plus two damage for backstab against poison enemies right here. You can see that we're going to cause poison with our strike. So if we can stay, let's go. We're just going for damage, maximum damage, because that'll be crazy. Yeah, remember, kids. A reading is good. 
<laughs> Damn it. Uh, it's so true. It's so true. All right. So let's see. We've got plus one to maximum weapon damage, plus one damage to poisoned enemies. Bunnies. Look at this. So Sir Tegir just got this. Plus two damage from backstab attacks to poisoned enemies. We cause poison when we strike. We cause 100% extra damage when we're hidden. And we have plus one damage to poison enemy. Yeah. It's like it was purpose-built for Tegir. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is so good. Is there any Vanguard armor? Oh, thank god. We can finally get some actual Vanguard armor. Let's get that in there. He is looking pretty fly. I am really digging this. Look at this. Plus 50% damage for one turn. Let's go ahead and get this onto... I guess K kind of needs something. We'll get that on there. That would be helpful, yeah? Gotta go, HB. Thanks for the stream. So much fun. Catch you on the next one. Joke, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great rest. We'll catch you on the next one. We're going to be back with BXCE on Thursday. It's going to be awesome because we're going to be pushing towards Clan Nova Cat. It's going to be great. We'll catch you later, man. All right, let's see. Armor-wise, do you have anything here? Plus 20 physical resistance versus minus... Oh, yes, that's right. Immunity to bleeding and minus damage from opportunity and Overwatch attacks. That's too good. That's too good. So let's see. Gain plus one damage for two turns after a kill. Obviously, we're just bringing Sir K in for the first time after a while he causes bleed so it's great to keep that in mind plus one damage for power attack skill oh that is great Ooh, that's nice too plus one damage for opportunity attacks all right we're gonna go with this the reason why is just because we already have something enhancing plus two damage for opportunity attacks and then this is plus one damage so it's gonna be plus three damage for opportunity attacks with Sir K. That's going to be nuts because he's got that giant, basically, two-hander, right? The thing's insane. Plus one injury tokens. We're all good there. So let's go ahead and get K. K's going to be in. Uh, we've got to heal Sir Tegger. Uh, Evane is doing a great job. I really, really dig it. I'm curious if there's anything better that he can get. Plus six here. Uh, plus one movement AP, one unharmed, plus one injury token. Doesn't really help him too much. And we got Peleus. Peleus is great. We can probably hold off. Rune of the Unclad. Do we have any new weapons here? Plus one damage against the loss. Plus two damage for Overwatch attacks. Ooh, extra to block. All right, we're doing this just for the block. Because obviously, like, he's got that shield. He, he likes to block a lot. This one, gain two AP on kill. Seven to nine, plus two damage for Overwatch. Plus two damage to unarmored... I, I, I like what he's got. All right, bunnies, we're gonna go. We're gonna roll like this. Let's go in and stop by Camelot. So right now we've got Lady Dindrin. Let's go in and check on her in the cathedral. Lady Dindrin has one mission left before she's finally cured, and we're gonna be able to get two archers. That's gonna be incredible. I almost feel like having multiple slots in in this building is like the most important. Look at this. It's five hundred extra building resources in order to unlock that. So we're we're gonna have to hold on to those. Um, let's see, Hector. I would like to bring Hector in on the next one. That'll be really good. Uh, let's stop by the hospice. We have five missions left on Balin. And we can probably get Tegir. I guess we can get Tegir all healed. One mission for 250. Sure, we'll get him in on the next one. And then we'll stop by the merchant with our remaining funds. 750. So we can sell a lot of these. It's probably a good idea considering that we've got a limited number of missions. So we'll just sell all these off. Probably seems kind of ridiculous, but all the money, 13, 19, so close. We'll sell off all the commons. Uh, we'll get rid of all of these things here. There we go. This is Marksman and Arcanist. Okay, so Arcanist will work as well. Sir Ector, in theory, could wear that as well. Okay, let's stop by and see what we can buy. So we've got weapons, next restock. Huge. What about trinkets? Plus one damage in a duel. What in the world? There are duels in this game? I had no idea. Last armor cannot be broken. God, I love this one. This one's so good. Is this like Darkest Dungeon? Hey, PFDFA. Uh, this is... I guess there are some things that are similar to Darkest Dungeon in the sense that you've got your... I guess your Hamlet. So Camelot would be like your Hamlet. So where we are right now. Um, obviously, there are sustain... You can sustain long-term injuries over a long period of time. So making sure that you're managing your injuries and your curses and things like that. Really, really important because that allows you to bring your A-team into battle over and over and over. Um, so it does have things in common. Obviously, like you you also have different classes. They're all very, very different. When you go to the adventure map, you'll notice that 
each of these are different missions that we've done. Unfortunately, we can't revisit them like in Darkest Dungeon, but apparently there's actually going to be a pretty robust storyline as well. There's also a morality chart. So this one's probably a little bit different from Darkest Dungeon. I don't think they had anything like this. So basically, as you go along, you can see different events and you can choose whether you want to be a tyrant or whether you want to be the rightful protector of Camelot. And that'll skew you towards the along the Y axis. The X axis is controlling uh, whether or not you want to lean towards Christianity or the old faith. You can see all of these nightly icons right here are different recruits. So the farther you go towards the old faith, eventually you'll get unlock Morgan Le Fay, which is really freaking awesome. We are one point away in the southern Y axis direction towards the Black Knight. Eventually you get the Red Knight. The only way that you're going to get any of the diagonals is to combine along the axis as well. So there's a lot of cool things that aren't necessarily exactly like Darkest Dungeon. Um, and there are also things that are similar to it as well. So with that having been said, I would really, really dig it if we could get into a level six. We've got Darkwood level six. We have Bleeding Cross Monastery at seven. So we really only have two choices right now. Unfortunately, this one, as we showed earlier, is not available in early access. So we'll head over to Darkwood at six. What is this? The Forsaken Cathedral. Knights and their vassals are still roaming the land and they keep on fighting. Gonna have to call it a night. Enjoyed watching the stream. CC Banshee, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great night. We'll catch you on the next one, man. Yeah, thank you so much, PF. I really appreciate it, man. Knights and their vassals are still roaming the land and they keep on fighting, although without the vigor that they once knew. But when they fall, darkness fills them like an empty vessel and moves them like puppets. These creatures seek refuge in the ruined husks of the kingdom like cockroaches hide in the cracks and we need to destroy their shelters defeat all the undead and clear the ruined cathedral so it seems like we're going to be fighting against the lost i suppose the lost are the undead those are the ones where some of them you've got to kill twice and we've got a high amount of experience so let's go in and we've got sir k uh instead of peleus peleus is incredible and all but let's pull peleus down we'll get sir k in it's been a while since we've had him we'll get a vein and we're going to try Sir Ector. Obviously, he's only level one, so this might be kind of rough, but uh, we'll do our best. Here we go. Right now, it's 845. We might be able to get through two. Most likely, this might be the last one, depending. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how far we can get. Yeah, I'm surprised at how much content they're able to pump out in early access. Whatever it bloody takes. All right, so let's go ahead and line this up. We want our melee at the front. So let's go ahead and adjust our formation. We're going to go into a square. Uh, let's bring our Sir K to the front. I would like Sir K on the left side, Sir Mordred on the right. We tend to find ourselves in a situation where we're... We've, we need the squishies. We need, we've got the toughest opponents on our front right. Uh, let's see, we've got... Sir Ector's definitely the weakest. So I'm feeling like he should be way, way, way in the back, yeah? Or I suppose we can go with a three right here and we'll have Sir, Sir Ector in the middle and then we'll get uh, Sir K on the right. There we go. And we'll close this up. Here we go. Believe me, Mordred, there is something truly wicked shambling behind the mist of Avalon. We're keeping an eye out for treasure. To land in the strangest adventures. But this one clearly wins the day. Oh, Cyber Gizmo, thank you so much. Will the Bunny League win the battle without nightly losses? That is a resounding yes. Thank you so much for the reminder. Really appreciate it. There you go. Well, tell you what, bunnies. Let's go ahead and run it again. Here we go. We got another bit going. All right. So all of these, you only have to destroy once. That's the nice thing. I don't know if we have any benefits for saving the civilian. Yeah. Oh, they're coming from all sides this time. Well, Hector's going to be able to help. Hector, he has the extra damage, 15 to 19. Oh my god! He's so strong! He His minimum damage on that... Oh, it costs 6? Wow, that's a lot. But his minimum damage, that's insane, is 15. So we can guarantee a kill. Let's go ahead and put slow on the people who are farthest from us. That's going to be 4. I don't see anybody to our back, so let's go ahead and pull away from the front line. Let's get K. Kay's going to get in. He's got that cleave. Give him a nice three. Good hit. Beautiful. And we'll reserve. Mordred's going to go in for finishing blows here. We've got one. We'll go in and stun the guy at the edge. And then we'll go in for a shield charge and knock him down. Beautiful. Holy crap. What an well-oiled machine. All right. So we've got a stun here. We've got a slow. We'll go in with the aim shot. 
He's not even going to be able to move. That's fantastic. And then we'll just backpedal with our ranged. All right. Sir Mordred is going to close. Put himself between the civilian and the downed walking dead. And hold. Oh, there's more. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, we just put our vulnerables right next to this guy. Oh, crap. He's got a Gauss cannon staff. Yes, he does. The thing's ridiculous. Hang tight, Hector. Hang tight. Holy crap. Come on, Hector. Holy crap. Hector's got a ton of armor. How's that possible? Oh, Cleve's going to be so good here. I'm so glad that we've got K. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and start with K. We've got that Cleve. Nail him. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. We've got Mordred. Mordred's going to go in to clean up. There we go. Nice hit. We'll step on in. Engaging attacks of opportunity. So we're ready if we need it. Here comes Sir Kay. We'll strike close up. Beautiful. Oh, he did not initiate the bleed. Oh, I forgot that he doesn't have bleed yet. All right. Well, Sir Hector is going to hit like a Gauss cannon. As all access is pointed out, we'll get that close range shot. Boom. Nail at the edge. And we'll tuck over to the edge here. So obviously, we're not going to get any spawns in this direction. It seems like they're coming from over here. Sir Hector, who are we going to eliminate? Full damage. <laughs> He's so strong. Oh, that's ridiculous. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. All right, reserve. Awaiting your command. Okay. Oh, jeez. I don't want him to get unnecessarily hit. So I'm actually going to pull back just to avoid any back hits for Mordred and Mordred's just going to hold the line up on all by his lonesome. Just strike one, strike two and reserve. Here we go. Oh my God. There's a lot. Oh, it's a Banshee. That's why. All right. We got to clear that Banshee. Otherwise, they're just going to continue to spawn. He gets. All right. Shouldn't be too hard considering that Hector can hit so hard and Evane can hit just equally as hard with an aim shot. Yeah. But ooh, not liking this over here. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, we've got close range combat for a mage. Not good. Not good. Okay. So let's see. Let's go in and get stigma. So it causes vulnerability and a stun on the Banshee. She's the target we need to down. Nail that for the clear. Oh, boy. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. Evane. Hector. Can we hit that far? Doesn't look like it. Drat. Is it really this low? Or we'll try it. It's 15. Should be 15 damage, right? Oh, it's got knockback. Interesting. Okay. Maybe. I wonder if it treats it differently. All right. Tuck back. We don't want any back shots and hold. All right, Evane. Clear the way. Oh, we really need to work on the Banshee, though. All right, tuck up. All right, K. Attack. And we'll just put ourselves in danger, in harm's way. All right, Mordred. Oh, we got to get really, really close. Yeah, we can't cross. We cannot cross through here without suffering attacks of opportunity. So we might as well get right into the middle. And the reason why we're going to do that is even though we're going to suffer catastrophic amounts of like catastrophic amounts of armor damage, we will be able to inflict horrendous attacks of opportunity. So here we go. Oh, our, our poor civilians getting wrecked. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. OK, let's see. Strike. Boom. Your head is mine. Oh, that's not good. Well, can we charge and knock him down? No, that doesn't work there. Okay. Well, what about K? Ooh, this is this is getting Your dicey. Eyes. This is tough. Strike at close range. Well, you know who's not at close range? It is our good friend, Sir Hector. It's going to cost three and this costs six. So here we go. And we'll get a shot off at the Banshee. Solid hit. Beautiful. All right. Come on, Evane. Come on, Evane. We really need to take out the Banshee. All right. Let's get K. So obviously, if we try to move with Evane, 
he's gonna get nailed within a deck of opportunity can he shoot from here that's the question no it doesn't look like it we're we're completely blocked I with line of sight so let's strike and try and clear that Whoa. so one from mordred two from mordred that might clear the line of sight 4k not quite i think mordred's still in the way all right let's see uh can we knock this guy no we can't i guess we can knock these guys down that's helpful strike and then we got k strike this all right so we cleared it we've cleared it for a vein vein's getting out beautiful so now he's no longer suffering from attacks of opportunity all right step out step out k step out k nailer that's one and two yeah god this game's amazing all right we've, we're just going to try and pull away from this downed walking dead yeah i uh, will get mordred Oof. all right mordred tuck up awaiting your command wow that worked really well i dig it okay let's just get between yeah, attack of opportunity you gotta remember that we get plus two plus three damage from attacks of opportunity yeah and hold all right last two last two Ooh, this one was raw. Hopefully we'll be able to get our armor back. Dear God. All right, ping back. Stigma. That's vulnerable. K, follow up and get the kill. And then we'll get Mordred back. Swing. And then we'll get Ector. And finish. Yeah! <laughs> Holy crap! Uh, all right. So despite him only being level one, this guy's crazy at level one. I like the fact that... No one is useless so early on, yeah? It's really nuts. Thank you for saving me. Oh, we got a little bit of a trinket. Thank you so much, lady peasant. I don't see any uh, loot back here. How, how are we doing on the map? Wow, that was only our first fight. <laughs> yeah, I think this might be the last one that we do for tonight, but this is really freaking awesome. So we saved the civilian. I'm surprised she's not going home. If I were her... You've never taken me seriously, Mordred. I will prove you that you were wrong. If I were her, I'd have gone straight back home. So it looks like Yvain took some damage. We could use our potion, but armor wise, uh, I don't know if we're necessarily going to gain too much right Shrine, now. Over there. Oh, heck yes. Shrines are the best. You feel like it will unleash the following power heal HP. Oh, you know what? Since we can isolate it, we'll give it to Yvain. There we go. Probably would have been better in a different situation where we wait for us to take more HP damage. But you know what? Rather than utilize the entirety of the campfire, we might as well do it. I see a chest. All right. Oh, hello. Look at this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that, bunnies. I would I would zoom in when we get into combat. I don't want to accidentally trigger that fight, but there's a knight in there. He's got a two-hander. Holy crap. Cleanse the ruined temple from all the undead. Hey, Azekis. Welcome, welcome. You're joining us right now. We're checking out the brand new so patch with a brand new success. class. Hopefully you're having a good one, yeah? How was this? A desecrated resting place for the fallen. What does it hide? Untold treasures or a terrible end? I take my chances or let... Oh, that's a good question. Well, bunnies, let's go in and get a poll. We can either a desecrate the tomb or a leave it alone. Here we go. 60 seconds on the clock. We'll see what you got. This XCOM looks weird. <laughs> so true, so true. So obviously we take our chances. We might run into an unnecessary fight. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be anything in there. Um, or we could just let them let them rest. If we let them rest, then we can just walk away. Maybe, maybe what we should do is let them rest. We fight that main fight. We know that guy's got that giant two-handed axe. And then at that point, come back to it at the very end of the match. If we've got spare armor or HP. Because otherwise we're going to be in a bad situation and run away with a whole bunch of unnecessary injuries or something like that yeah so currently we're half and half we're four to three we've got 20 seconds left on the clock it's a one point split between desecrating the tomb and causing untold generations worth of ptsd or we can just leave it alone well it looks like the the tomb looks ready to loot <laughs> all right well it looks like we are about to desecrate this tomb by a one point all right it's a two point spread now all right it's a three point spread <laughs> all right thank you so much for weighing in bunnies uh, we are going to take our chances and desecrate this tomb. Aw, oh, crap. Looks like a Diablo done ambush. Oh, fancy that. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, oh, boy.
boy. Oh boy. Is this okay? This oh 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 that's nope nope that's not okay. Oh nope still that's not okay. Oh jeez. I don't know if we have any loot out of this. Well tell you what, let's go ahead and stun the people behind Divine. Just got here and you said desecrate. I'm in. <laughs> All right, we'll strike with one and we'll go in for a stun. Knock that guy down. Beautiful. I love shield charge. I think it's incredible. All right, let's get K. We'll clear this guy out. Good kill. Oh, let's see. We got Ector. Try and knock him. Get at range. God, that... Holy crap, that's awesome. And then we'll slow him down as well. Beautiful. All right, we got a vein. We got to clear the one closest to us. Nice hit. Uh, let's see. We've got K. Oh, this is rough. Oh, the bunny league curse for sure. Look at this guy. He's only got one left. Oh, I wish I could just breathe on him. Oh, this is rough. I don't want to be close to this guy. Oh, that's not good. We're going to take opportunist uh, tax of opportunity. Well, K, you really don't have many options here. And Hector's kind of stuck. Kind of flub this one. All right, cross your fingers. Oh, no. <laughs> what have we done? Bunnies, bad touch, bad touch. Oh, geez. Oh, oh. Bad touch, desecration, bad. Oh, come on, Evane. Hang in there, Evane. Hang in there, Evane. He's like our most valuable ally. Oh, to the back. Oh, to the back of our level one. Okay, this is not good. Okay. All right, Mordred. Sing one. There we go. Uh, let's see. Evane, Evane, Evane. All right, we got K. Swing one. Good kill. Okay, Hector. That's only... Oh, that's barely anything. Oh, that's barely anything. Oh, that's not good. Okay, think, think, think. Sir K. It's going to take up three so we can move in one. At least guard the back on Evane potion time oh thank you so much all axis very very good point potion time indeed heck yes thank you thank you thank you all right let's go ahead and ping we got to clear the way clear the way hit for one hit for two we're gonna use this potion oh, oh we can't use the potion crap for my camelot all right well we'll step in one finish this that's going to clear evane to move he's gonna tuck up a little bit so he can eventually get behind that tombstone uh, let's get to the Lost Squire. Strike that. Drill through some of the armor. We'll hold. We've got poor Hector at close range, doing barely any damage. Oh, and the pushback. Beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so useful. Wow. And hold. Here it comes. Oh, is there a Banshee? Oh, there's a Banshee. <laughs> We're so screwed. Holy crap. What have we done? Oh, boy. What have we done? It's just so when she screams at us, it reduces our AP for that la for that next turn. What is this lost skirmisher with a? J oh my god, that is frightening! Holy crap! All right, uh, okay, this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> this is totally fine. We just have half AP for one turn, which could be really bad. Okay, let's see. What about Sir Mordred? Let's go ahead and stun the stun the banshee so we'll stun the banshee there we go he only has two left face our aggressor oh we got ector he wow that hurts ector cannot do a thing because you got to remember that he's uh it costs him so much to do any magic okay so we could strike at a far all right hit it there's that hit we're going to take a potion gain 50 percent ap Oh, we're going for burst. We're going for burst. There we go. We'll get another one in there. Send it. 16. 16. We got K. Oh, God. We got to get to the edges. Someone's got to get to the edges. Or we could get over and distract. All right. We're going in. We're going in. And hold. Oh, boy. This is not good. Not good. If we pull away, this guy's going to hit us so hard. Cross your fingers. Here it comes. Huge damage round for our opponents. All that bad touching. Have they never heard of consent? I know. Oh, oh, that was horrible. All right. Uh, let's see. Regain armor. Do it. We're using all the potions. It is time. 
All right, we, we, we got we got this. Send one. Good hit. We're going to go in for a shield charge. Knock down that Banshee. Hit it. There we go. She's down. She's down. All right, tuck in for attacks of opportunity and strike again. All right, good hit. All right, Evane. Send it. One down. We got to kill that guy a second time. You got to remember that. Okay, Kay. Burn through that armor. Beautiful. Strike it again. Strike it again. Beautiful. All right, Hector. Hit him. Enemy down. All right. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Got to reposition. We've got three turns until that guy is back online. All right. Tuck behind. We got to get behind cover. Oh, my goodness. Hold. Okay. We're going to have back steps. All right. Flip this way so we don't get hit in the back. And hold. So grouping up around a two-hander was a great idea. <laughs> I've never encountered that enemy before. All right. Okay. Okay. Can we hit this? Yes, we can. Beautiful. So now he is vulnerable. Here comes Evane. Strike that aim shot. That guy's down. What? Hector with a follow up. Hit him. All right. Now he's dead, dead. Okay, K. In and swing. Heck yes. All right, there's just cleanup, cleanup time, cleanup time. One, two, Your head is mine. and three. All right, oh my God. Wow, that was a costly, costly fight. Hopefully there's something good out of that, yeah? I know that we have access to a, uh, a fire after this, so we're gonna be able to regain our health at the very least, but ooh, look at Kay. Kay's in a world of hurt right now. One and two. There. Oh, wow. Woo! That was a lot of bad touch. Oh, we got a we got a tooth. Bunnies, we got a tooth. <laughs> that was not worth it. Oh, we got a Well, you know. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> got a tooth out of it that was horrible that was horrible that was like the worst that was the worst treasure i've ever <laughs> they gave us a freaking tooth chomp chomp oh god desecration of tombs always pays off all right well you know what we better get back to that fire now if there's a time to use one it is definitely it right now how many tooths apparently just the one i'm hoping that the tooth fairy is going to give us some relic loot after this apparently I i'm sure that she'd be like you know what this is the perfect time to uh, spend all of the the tooth fairy money and nothing but the tooth yes <laughs> all right we got we got some money or we, we got some health oh this is this is gonna be rough cleanse the ruined temple from all undead oh my goodness wow all right uh are we going to be able to last this one? Can we withdraw from missions and come back? I don't think so. Oh my goodness. We have to cleanse all undead. I fostered the young King Arthur and fathered the finest knight of the realm tears. So far, so good. Is there any more healing? A shrine? Anything? I hear frogs. Are we in a, a swamp? Is that like a fraction of a teeth? <laughs> Uh, I'm sure. Oh, boy. Hopefully, they're all at our front. I'm okay with that, if that's the case. Let's zoom out. It looks like we should be okay. So, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get Sir Yvain up against cover. I'm also going to get Sir Ector up against cover. There we go. And we'll make the ones closest to us kind of slow. Now, uh, we'll get Yvain to start shooting... I guess we'll just go full in on this guy. Oh, can they cross cover? Can they hit a cross cover? Oh boy. If they can hit a cross cover, that might not be a good idea. Like, like swing over the log. I would imagine that's possible, but I, I didn't really think about that. All right, Kay. Uh, Mordred. Tell you what, we're just going to go ahead and form a shield wall. It doesn't look like there are any sort of ranged opponents. So we'll go into Overwatch here. There we go. And we'll get K up. We'll tuck him over to the edge here. And we will also put him in Overwatch and form this full line and reserve with Hector and go. Here they come. Oh, they're... <laughs> they're are ranged. Please don't strike over that log. Please tell me you can't strike over that log. 
Oh, oh geez. Oh, boy. I think Sir K might die. This is fine. Come on. Come on. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. I'm going to have to treat K like Tegir soon. Can he swing? Oh, he can swing over the log. Oh, this is horrible. All right. So we definitely need to get rid of that crossbowman. He can reach out and touch us in a bad way. Here comes K going with a cleave. Beautiful hit. And we'll swing in for the finish. Beautiful. We got Ector. Let's go in and free up. Free up Yvain. Oh, he can strike twice. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, nail that guy. The reason why we're going after this guy is so that Mordred can go ahead and swing. Swing. And we're going to go for the knockdown right there. There we go. Beautiful. And then we'll... Oh, hello. There's got to be a Banshee out here. Crap. Do we have any more movement? We do have some movement. Let's go in and lock up that Walking Dead. All right, Kay. We'll pull away. Hector, pull away. All right, Evane. Strike him. One, two. Oh, uh, boy. So, do you remember from XCOM to not send soldiers alone into the. <laughs> well, it's not XCOM, so new rules surely apply, do they not? <laughs> Uh, if we pull away, they get that guaranteed hit, but... Oh, God. All right, pull away, pull away. There we go. And hold. Here's the big threat right here. He'll get that shot, hopefully, on Mordrib. He's probably going to shoot at K, right? Oh, he's got to go around the log. Perfect. So we got to stay away from the log. Hope you cannot rename heroes here. Oh, my. Awaiting your so far, we cannot. I think it's linked to the story. So, so far, I don't think you can rename heroes, but I mean, um, the bad things have definitely happened. Let's go ahead and clear this so that Mordred can get out there. Where's the Banshee? There's got to be a Banshee. Come on, Mordred, get in there. I don't see a Banshee. Nailed that. Hold. There's got to be something spawning all these lost, right? Oh, hello. There we go. Walking dead, huh? Well, come on, Evane. Nail him. Let's clear the way. We gotta protect K, believe it or not, even though he's fully armored. It's a bit rough. Stick together, stick together. And Evane's just gonna go in Overwatch like that. And hold. Strike one. Strike two. Strike three. There we go. Oh, we can hit again. No way. Heck yes. All right, the last one. I guess it was just a set number of spawns. I totally thought that there was some Banshee out there spawning everyone. That's kind of nuts. And then we got some loot. Darn straight it is. Hopefully it has more than a tooth. <laughs> Which is just a fraction of a teeth. Would it be the Queen Latif? Uh? Oh, let's see, left and right. Oh, no. What is this? Is he going to talk to me or attack me? Uh, he didn't attack right away. Oh, it's a duel. We saw this. There are some accessories out there that actually make it where you can deal extra damage in a duel. Yes. Oh, holy crap. A worthy opponent. Let's test our metal in a nightly duel. What do you say, sir? All right. Well, it's going to be Mordred. Defend yourself. He's got the most health. Yes. Holy crap, we got a duel. This is awesome. Well, we can knock him down, too. No, ah, <laughs> this is great. All right, shield charge. Beautiful. Step in and swing one. Swing two. And hold. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Hopefully, he's not going to cleave and accidentally hit our guys who are in not in the duel. Stun him. Oh, this is over. This is game over. One. Hold. And done. Enough. I yield. I yield. Bloody hell. Why can I never win? Playing the new content tonight. Hope you're still enjoying it. Lucky Leroy, absolutely. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are playing the new content. I really, really dig it. The new class is awesome. This is our very first duel. Apparently, you can select a champion and take it in and, and uh, like battle it out. I guess, mano y skeletino. <laughs> 
overall, really, really digging it. Have you gotten to try any of it yet? Something to line our pockets. Yes, all the free chairs. Trinkets. And hug People to the left. Me a heartless tyrant. Oh, hello, I nurse. Regain armor. Okay, so the one who's going to need it the most is definitely Sir K. He has zero armor. That's quite welcome. Quite welcome. All right, let's go ahead and fill in the middle of this part of the map. We stop here? Oh, a fire? Heck yes. Oh my god, we're getting all the things that we need. Thank you for vitality. What's the point Played all of it. The new February update. It is dead. so good. Dude, it is amazing. Dude, how do you how do you like the new class? Uh, tech area. Dude, I love the fact that you can even get into tier 2 abilities now. So it looks like it's all lost. This is okay. This is okay. So let's just go ahead and group up. We want to pull them through a choke point if possible. Let's go ahead and clear the ones closest to us. We'll ping for 15. And we'll back it on up. The only place that we can really trust to not have spawns next to us is probably back here. So we'll go ahead and send, I guess, to the far reaches. Backstabs are great. Now we'll tuck back. And what that's going to allow us to do, if we go and cross over here, actually we'll step back here and we'll go into Overwatch like this. Hopefully, all any of these are basically just one shot, yeah? So we'll go in, we'll swing from the back. Beautiful. And hold. Here they come. It was level one and the missions are level six, so I haven't had the guts to run him yet. Oh, actually, he's actually pretty good. Oof. Wow, I just wasted all the armor. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have pulled him back. I did use him on level six. I gotta say that it's a little difficult. Definitely a lot of positional stuff to keep in mind. Swing it. Gauss rifle kills. Ping slow. Here comes K. We'll get in with a cleave. And let's pull the heck out. Now we got Mordred. Charge that. Swing. And lock. And then we've got Evane. Aim shot. Enemy down. <laughs> it's so good. Ah, oh, we just wasted that campfire. I mean, I guess it technically wasn't a waste because we were able to use it. If we didn't, then we'd be in a worse worse shape for sure. But uh, you guys, I wish we could hand off potions to our allies. That definitely would be helpful. Well, this might be the fight right here that we need to get through. So let's do it. This is the ruined temple, I think. Looks familiar. Oh, no bueno. No bueno, that's not good. Okay, wait, hold up. Wow, there's a lot of deployment zones here. Okay, so we've got a crossbowman back here. Wow, we've got a reliquary with all the spawns. We've got a bunch of cleavers. Crossbowman. Okay, so the crossbowman, K, I guess K could swing into these. Evane, would Evane be best over here? I guess he could get behind cover here and hit a lot of people, but they, they'd swarm him pretty quickly. If he's on the back side here, Evane could do some serious work and he could still be able to continue to deal damage here. Let's go ahead and get Evane back here. He does more damage from cover. Split your forces. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we'll get Mordred to protect Evane. Where's the thumper? I know that would be incredible at a time like this. And then we got Hector. I mean, K. No, I guess Azekis is right. Probably shouldn't. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm going to have him here. I'm going to get Evane, toss him here. We got Hector a little in a safer spot. And then we got K. Keep K just one off the front. All right, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Well, let's see. We've got a lost squire. We can shoot him in the back. That'll be incredible. So let's go in and get a shot. Although I suppose we could reduce. Let's, let's go in with the charge first. We'll get a knockdown on the crossbowman. Nice hit. We'll follow up with stigma. Remove some of that armor. We'll get a vein. 
Venus. He'll strike. Oh, that's not enough. What about what about Hector? Do we have a shot? No shot for Hector. All right, here you go, Hector. Nail him from the back. Gauss cannon. Oh, so close. So close. All right, hold, hold, hold. Oh, he gets. All right, uh, Evane. Shot one. We got to go for kills. Shot two. Hold. Okay, I think he's just going to protect. He's going to protect this. We're going into uh, Overwatch here like that. Uh, we got Mordred. We tuck back one. That's going to be one. Overwatch is going to consume three. So we'll just go into Overwatch here. There we go. And hold. Here we go. Make them cross the open ground. Alright. Start working that armor. Work that armor. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I wish we had AoE. I know we've got cleaves and all, but it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. Oh, we got to destroy this, too. Oh, my goodness. How much is that? 20. 20 points on that. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, deals 115% damage to an adjacent enemy. Strike causes bleeding for two turns. Okay, so... Start with Mordred. Start with Mordred. Start working that armor down. Work that armor. That's one. That's two. We've got... If we strike this, I guess K could get in. Awaiting your command. Step up one. We'll swing from the back. Oh, it looks like a vein is going to have to finish this. Finish that off. There we go. Aim shot. So aim shot is going to bypass some of this armor. Good hit. Hector, follow up. Bypass the armor. All right, good. Great, great, great. All right, who can win? Let's go ahead and slow this giant behemoth of a guy there. Would you take two archers in the new class or one with the new class? I still like two archers. <laughs> I still like two archers. Although I got to say that two ranged in general, like Hector's actually doing a pretty good job. I'm I'm kind of okay with him. I think I think he's fine. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of cool. He's kind of cool. All right, let's pull it back. Come on, Mordred, get back there. Get back there. Got a bit of a strange graphical bug there. Nice hit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why is Mordred so drunk? <laughs> Imagine him when he levels up. Oh my god. This is where I wish we had the cleave. Okay, so we could stun this guy and really nail him. That's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and put stigma. So that's going to make him vulnerable. It's going to drop two of his armor. That means Evane is up. You can send one. All right, we'll just finish that guy off. He's not bleeding yet. All right, K. Swing. Got a kill. If we step up, we can get another strike on this. This is going to cost us three as well. Uh, but we don't have enough. We can't get into position for a cleave. So we'll just push up. We got to get kills here. Uh, let's see. We'll strike. Nail this. Clear that. Evane has to finish. God, that feels like such a waste, though. But you know what? It's probably best. Finish that guy. You got to remember that these guys are coming back as well in two turns. And then we got Hector. Clear that right. Good. And that leaves Mordred. All right, tuck up. Wow, he's really... <laughs> he's really drunk, isn't he? He's so drunk. All right, swing it. Good hit and hold. All right, this is okay. This is okay. I think the, I think the big thing is as soon as they come back online, that one turn away, they are able to attack immediately, which is kind of insane. So let's go ahead and nail this guy. Boom. Get that hit. We'll go in for... We'll step up one. We'll get in a charge. All right. He's not drunk anymore. <laughs> He's obviously sober. Pull up. 
Heck yes. All right. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we've got this reliquary. We we need to go to work. We need to go to work. Come on, Hector. Finish off these bodies. Good kill. We got another one back there. Come on, Evane. Do you have a shot? Yes, you do. Send one. Oh, we got to go both. Got to send both. That's fine. All right, we've got two turns with this. So Kay's going to move over to the reliquary. And swing. Good hits. Good hits. And tuck it back. Hold. All right. Prepare to die. Heck yes. I think we got this. Not too bad. No one died? That's always like the... Uh, that's the benchmark for the Bunny League. No one dying. Aim shot. Hector. Oh, one left? Oh, crap. Uh, all right. This is... Can we... Uh, <laughs> damn it. Uh, this, I always hate when this happens. Okay, well... Can we... I guess I can't really stun a dead body. Can I? <laughs> I guess he's already stunned. Oh, boy. This is fine. This is fine. Well, let's get K the heck out of there. Hold. Here he comes. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's not. Oh, heck yes. I guess he was... Meh. I guess he was bleeding. Heck yes. All right. Not too bad at all. All right, let's zoom out so it's a little easier to maneuver here. All right, Hector, Hector, Hector. All right, get up there. Give him the swing. Heck yes! We live! We live! Oh, I did not think that... And we finished the mission. Beautiful. Let's go in and see if there's any fat, fat loot. There we go. That's all we had to... Do. Oh my god, we got a relic. That is incredible. The highest rarity that you can possibly have. And it's an accessory as well. Those are hard to fill, I gotta say. Those are some of the hardest ones to find. Well, obviously, GG indeed. GG bunnies, GG. I gotta say, I think getting that tooth was worth it. That worked a little better than expect. Wait, <laughs> than expected. Uh... Can I fin I can finish the mission, right? Can I just click on finish the mission? <laughs> I just click on finish the mission. Oh dear god. Um should we fight this? Do we get anything out of fighting this? Should we even? This does not look like a good idea. <laughs> That's I'm just going to try clicking on this. Yeah. <laughs> Well, always have to leave it in a little bit of suspense. You know what I'm saying? So uh, finish it. Heck yes. Relic accessory. Horn God's girdle. Movement AP cost halved. The wearer dodges the first hit it would take in every single encounter. We got when an ally in five tiles radius takes damage, 50% of that damage is applied to this hero instead. This will be great for Mordred, actually. Minus one AP cost of the defender's guards. Oh, Sir Peleus. This is Sir Peleus. Carrot saved. That's right. Bunnies, well, the Bunny League win this battle without nightly losses. That is a resounding yes. Congratulations to those who had the faith. How about a tooth? Yes. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got as the very last thing that we do for the night. We'll stop in. So Sir Evane is getting even stronger. He can finally get into these crazy, crazy tier two skills. Quick movement in a straight line, immune to opportunity attacks while dashing? Oh my god, getting out of danger. This will be incredible. This allows him to move two to five squares. That's incredible. Decrease the AP cost of poison skills by one, plus 50% to burning. Plus 25% damage for the first attack every single turn when no AP was spent in that round. When no AP was spent in that round, I guess it just means like if you shoot from the exact spot where you were. God, that's crazy. Plus 25%? That's crazy. Oftentimes we're in a situation where we're trying to down somebody and we're just like two, three points away from downing them and just dropping them. That'll be incredible. And the great thing about this, this will also apply to aim shot. So you got to think aim shot dumps all your AP into a single shot. So you bypass some armor. You can really hit 25% on top of that. That's ridiculous. I think we're going to go ahead and grab this. Yeah, let's take a look at the tooth necklace and see what the stats are. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Well, here is the tooth. One damage for two turns after a kill. 
Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, it was this one. When the hero kills an enemy, the hero teleports next to the closest enemy. Oh! The Trophy of Frenzy! That's actually not bad! What in the world? Actually, that's... That's legit. Holy crap, for Sir K? Wait a minute, for Sir K, Trophy of Frenzy versus what? Plus two damage for opportunity attacks. Wow. I mean, he gets kills... Not not too bad. When the hero kills an enemy, the hero tell... There we go. Toss that on there. We'll get we'll get this in. I guess. See, teeth are useful. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Movement AP costs half. The wearer dodges the first hit it would take in every single encounter. This can be applied to anybody. So who needs to move a lot? Probably Sir K, if I think about it. So, I mean, allowing him to reposition would be great. So let's get that on him. That's fantastic. Look at that. Making him a total beast. We'll stop by the armor. All right. What about weapons? Trinkets? We're all good there. Potions? We have no potions. Sir moves a lot. He will move a lot. That's for sure. All right. We have got no potions here. See, Arcanist only. Oh, heck yes. We've got Arcanist stuff. Oh, wait. Is he not an Arcanist? What is he? Oh, he's an Arcanist. Level. Oh, he has to be level five. That's why. Oh, that's a bummer. The dodge is great. Oh, heck yes. Especially because he seems to be a little... He gets smacked around a lot. You know what I mean? Well, let's see. We've got two points. Uh, magical armor. At the start of every encounter, gain six armor that will only protect you from the first hit. That's pretty baller. Let's see. Slow. Curse AP costs are reduced by one. Curse costs 20% vulnerability to its target during its... Holy crap! This lasts for two turns and it's basically going... Wait. Skill point costs... It's just a cooldown? This costs two? Wow. So, Bunnies, you got to think, with Sir Mord Mordred, when we use Stigma, it applies a vulnerability curse on our enemy and increases damage by 20%. This basically turns it into a slow slash Stigma. That's crazy. 20% for one skill point, and we've got four to spend. Well, let's take a look at all the other options first. We've got Force Bolt. That was our Gauss Rifle. So, it says Force Bolt has a 50% armor break. That's crazy. Force Bolt deals 20% damage to targets affected by any curse. So if we slow, you've got vulnerability. You get this and increases it by 20% vulnerability. And then this does 20% extra damage against curse. Yes! Oh my god, this is crazy. Holy crap, this will be nuts. Okay, so potion effects on the arcane is 20... Whatever. Range of skills increased by 1. That is fantastic. Hex intensity. Plus 30%. Well, this is a hex. So can we curse and increase the intensity by 30%? Plus 20%. If you get this and this, that's going to be 50% increase. Enemies affected by any curse have their armor reduced by two. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Wow. Okay, so let's see. This is going to cost one point. This is going to cost two. If we do this, it's going to be two. Two, three, four. One, two, three and four let's do this here we go here we go now a clan gauss cannon <laughs> all right so we're going to use master of curses i know this is extra 10 percent damage but this is this is too crazy god i i want this so badly but this is going to be okay so 30 percent. we're getting that we're getting this going to be an extra one so this is that 20 percent vulnerability we only have one point left to spend we can either get 20 percent on top of anything that's cursed so obviously that applies to sir mordred as well so that's going to have a double whammy with sir mordred uh, or we can put our slow on them as well. Obviously, the extra intensity is nice, but not necessary right now. Or we can go with an armor reduction by two. I think there are too many ways. I feel like there are too many ways. This is incredible, and I really want this, but there are too many ways to reduce armor. I feel, I mean, there. Let me rephrase that. I love that we can reduce armor. This is just another way of doing it. There are other ways that we can reduce armor. So I feel like just straight up extra damage, especially because Mordred also has curses. This, this is too valuable of a point to apply. That is so cool. I love the synergies that they've got in this game. It's so ridiculous. So let's see. What what, what can we equip here? Jewelry. We'll just get an extra six. That's great. Um, it looks like we're still too low. We need to be like level five to wear a lot of these things. And plus one movement AP, one unharmed, plus one injury token. You know what? I would rather take the injury token. It means that he's not going to suffer long-term damage. It's going to be really great. 
I'm really liking Hector. I think that's crazy. Surivain, obviously. I love Surivain. He's insane. What is this? Minus two damage received from magic attacks. Regain four additional HP on rest using the HP recovery option. This is the last one armor cannot be broken. That's the last one armor cannot be broken is insane. I guess we could use this as well. This is minus two damage received from ranged attacks. Three. I guess we get four armor magic attacks. I mean, we're not really getting hit with magic there. God, 17 and one versus you can get four armor off of this. All right. We're doing this. We're doing this. I know this this seems kind of nuts, but if you think about it, even though we get one armor that will never the wearer gains hide. What? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. So if we stop so okay. Take a look at Tegir, all right? When in doubt, equip the one with the highest sell price. Oh my. Take a look at Tegir, okay? So he has the ability called hide. When moving on certain parts of the map or getting behind full cover, the hero becomes hidden. Hidden heroes gain 50% extra damage for their next skill. That's awesome, okay? Now, if you give Evain hide, he can... <laughs> and he's so far away from enemies all the time. You, you gotta remember. So hide, it seems just if, if hide works the same way as Sir Tegir's hide, then the very default hide has a radius of two tiles. So that means if, if you're not within two tiles of your opponent, then you're, you stay hidden. Which means if you give hide to Suri Vane and he's a ranged unit that stays on the other side of the map and he shoots people, then he gets 50% ex Wait, it, it, does that seriously work that way? Boom, goes the dynamite. Hide and aim shot. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, so obviously like this seems cool. Reduce magic attacks. Uh, regain four additional HP. Great. All that armor. This is a lot of armor. Four armor for one light armor. But this? You maintain the four armor. You get extra. This is a rare piece. Okay, I don't know if it works the way that I think it does. But if it does, holy bejesus. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Bunnies, there are so many games out there these days. This is. I just want to remind you, this is in early access. There's so many games out there right now where all they do is adjust stats. And that's not a bad thing inherently because I like upgrades. So we're talking about like, you know, just extra HP, extra armor, extra action points, extra vitality, more efficient use of XYZ. This actually changes how you play. That's what's so nuts is that we've we were remarking earlier on in the stream that each of these knights feel different. But with things like this, where you actually have cross skills going across like that's huge that's ridiculously huge and and the fact that they built in that versatility is just ridiculous i can i can only imagine where this game's gonna go we've only unlocked the second tier tree we, we haven't even gotten to the third set of skills yet this is ridiculous i'm i i'm so impressed i'm so impressed with where they're at right now i mean let's take a look at the trinkets right now obviously we can do better than plus 20 gold found that seems pretty poor i mean obviously whoa we've got 2400 gold Man, I think it's time to go to the, the market. <laughs> okay, before we get too crazy, let's let's we're in we're in Camelot right now. We're in Camelot right now. So training ground, cathedral, the hospice. I think it was the cathedral that we said would be a benefit from a second slot. Obviously, we're 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 kind of getting a lot of injuries. I, I know that seems strange that that would be the case. Injury treatment is reduced by 10% for the quick treatment. Oh, okay, that's pretty decent. Injury treatment reduced by one mission to a minimum of one mission for the free troop. I think a second slot's just going to be the way that we need to do it. We're going to upgrade that there. Maybe we're going to have a couple extra drinks. Buy drinks. <laughs> All right, Yvain, where are you at? One mission left. Really? I thought we were on one mission on the last one. I'd really like to get her back soon. I think that'll be great if we could, right? Can we... That's odd. All right, that's fair. Well, let's go in and get Balin. Balin, can we, can we get you in here? Can we... You know, stick. Oh, you're at the hospice right now. Let's go to the hospice. And I'm going to pull you out. Balin, I'm going to toss you in to the cathedral here. One mission, 250. Oh, absolutely. This is suffered poison effects. Duration is doubled. Suffered HP damage increased by one. Let's go in and do this one. We're going in for one mission to cure that. Oh, this is so expensive. This is so expensive. You think about it. This is really like dun Darkest Dungeon in some ways. Yeah. Or the stop by the merchant. All right. Bunnies. 
we know what we've got to do let's take a look at the weapons no potions trinkets uh plus one damage into duel we saw that before regain two armor when drinking potions armor wow there's not much armor here is there looks like we we're gonna need a refresh offer refreshes more frequently it looks like all of these require building resources so we can't partake of that plus two damage for the strike what about our champions so sir peleus sir peleus is not a champion but sir k is right now he's got 5 to 13 and 40 armor breaking that's insane this is 15 so but he's got a base damage that's a lot higher this is plus two damage against the loss so obviously we did a really good job when we were fighting against all those zombies regain one hp on kill yeah this is too good this is too good right now yeah let's go bankrupt i don't i don't think bunnies i'm going to exercise extreme restraint it looks like we're not going to buy anything today because there's nothing quite worthy uh, to sacrifice all the bunny league's uh, ramen packets so we're actually gonna end right here bunnies thanks so much for hanging out this is incredible i am really really every time they send well i guess we've only had one patch so far that i've seen i i'm just really really impressed with this game i think they've done a fantastic job and i can't wait to see where they're going with it I'd love it if we can get one more point of Tyrant. If we can do that, then we're going to be able to potentially unlock the Black Knight. I don't know if that's actually available in the demo. It might not be, but I'm just I'm so excited. I, I can't wait till the full game comes out. I am i don't even know when it's planned to come out, whether it's later in 2021 or 2022, but I really dig it. Hopefully you're enjoying yourselves. Uh, the next time that we're going to HB didn't shop. <laughs> The next time we're going to be streaming is on Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Same bun time, same bun channel. We'll be back again with BEXCE. Uh, it's going to be great. We're going to be heading over to Clan Novacat territory. So it's going to be more clan action as we prepare before we head on down south. Hopefully we'll find ourselves a Daishi or something else. Who knows? It should be a whole lot of fun. Bunnies, I had a total blast. I hope you did as well. I hope that we had a positive impact on your night. And I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good night.